All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club Stop and Chat. Today we have a very, very special, special, special returning guest. Mr. Wade Disarmo is back yeah. with us. How are you, dude? I'm well. Very well. Hey, Thanks for having me again. Dude. For the third time. You're looking great, yes. bro. Oh, hey, he came on the you experience. Well. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Kelly, yeah. stop interrupting while Wade is giving me um, compliments. <laughs> uh, that's what I tried to do right there, so yeah. I did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Wade? Yeah, what no, up? Kelly, Kelly's right, though. You came, you were on the Nine Club, then you did a whole Nine Club experience episode with us, and now you're back for the stop and chat, man. The trifecta. Love it. it not awesome. that, not that many people get the trifecta on the Nine Club, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty soon you guys are probably going to have something else popping. Oh, Another hope. side thing, I'm going to have to do that. The green room. The green room. Yeah. We have a live... <laughs> Wow. Wade, dude, wow. look at that. Wow. Next time you're out, you're, you're yeah. going to the green room. Yeah. Already in the work. Yeah, but dude, thank you for coming back, dude. Amazing, bro. I wish thank circumstances you. were different and you were back here with us in person, but uh, you are also in Toronto. So, mm -hmm. you know, we do have a uh, couple thousand miles in between us. And a very strict border. You know, from here to New York, 3,000 miles, give or take, right? What's it from here to Toronto? I would say the same, mm -hmm. just a little bit maybe more a little, north. A little bit more? Because you got to kind of go up, but maybe the plane trajectory, I don't know. Say like 30, the way the 30. earth spins and sometimes. The earth I'll, spinning really is difficult to... I'll tell you this much. <laughs> when I fly to New York, they say it's an hour and 10 minutes. Okay. We're in the air, we're in the air for 50 minutes. Dude, that's crazy. It's that quick. 15, 10 up, 10 down. That's why I like living over here, man. Like yeah. Vancouver was dope. Don't get me wrong, but the only like refuge I had was LA. And being on the East Coast too, when you go to Europe, it's much quicker. We have to do the whole 10 hour flight. Didn't even didn't even think about that, but yeah. That was it's five and a half to or five to LA from here mm -hmm. and six and a half to Heathrow. So that's nothing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. Not, oh my sure. god, man! I miss traveling, dude. Do I'll you really know, Chris? Back. I do. Yeah, I, I do. was about yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna ask that too, man? What's up? I was just I was gonna ask the last time you went somewhere. Yeah. That's what I was gonna ask. <laughs> when was the last trip you were on? Fuck, I'll have to come back to you after <laughs> that, man. I don't remember. What was the okay. last trip? Well, I did do a couple, I mean, out of the country. God, I don't know. Out of the country. Yeah, out of the Where'd country. You Where'd you go? go? I mean, B Barcelona, most likely. That was probably Beautiful. the last time I, I left. It's been a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's been a minute. When was that? <sighs> That's got to be six over six years. Oh, oh yeah. way yeah, over yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, way yeah. over that. Yeah. I want to say like. Pretty sweet time, right? <laughs> At least. And that's, that, that's right, probably so, exactly okay. yeah, yeah. 10 years. You know what it was? Dude, it was pretty <laughs> sweet was not six years ago. Like, well, no, it, but it, it actually came out, it, I think, no, eight, two nine years ago. 2012, it came out. <laughs> so, so Nine years ago. Yeah, nine years ago, yeah. Go. So filming for Pretty Sweet, that was even longer yeah, than that. So then maybe, you know. 11, 10 years, 11. 11. I think that was the last time I left the country was to either either the Barcelona trip. Remember when we were all there in Barcelona? Yeah, it was a huge time. crew. Great we time. had like two vans going around Barcelona. It was insane. Or it was a time that I went to Milan and I was with Gino Iannucci and Jesus staying at Federico's house for like two months. Mm. Tough life. One or the other. Yep. Tough we life. just had Gino on the show and then, Jesus, that guy. Brought it back. Yep. Man, how much of a legend Legend, that dude is. the best. Hell yeah. God. Thank you. But uh, yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. thank you, dude, <laughs> yeah. for real. But how's life over there, man? I, I know that the weather and the whole, you know, uh, pandemic and stuff, but you're still going and skating the park out there and keeping keeping busy? Yeah. Um, I just got over a little bit of an injury, mm. which was um, kind of, I don't even know how to explain it. It was... Um, Got a heel bruise like most of us do mm -hmm. and kind of just thought I could skate through it and it ended up just getting way worse. Like some days I'd wake up and my, couldn't even put weight on my foot. You know what I mean? Jeez. Turned into like plantar fasciitis of my heel, not the foot, but like the heel because I guess you have your fascia muscle that mm -hmm. runs all the way on the bottom of your foot. Mm -hmm. But it was just the heel and I guess I bruised the bone so bad that everything around it was affected, even like up the side of my foot. Wow. So yeah, um, I just started skating again, probably, I, I got diagnosed with that in January. So, oh, okay. but I was skating with it. This happened in September. So I was just pushing it and yeah. I had kind of the same injury. I thought it was just mm -hmm. whatever, but it turned out to be like a micro fracture in my heel. Like it would, if it would feel good. I'd wait a week or two, feel good, skate, totally hurt. Like, how did you fix that? I, I just chilled. Like no cast, no nothing, but I just, the doctor was like, just 
don't skate for like you know two months or three months and then it finally went away but it was the same thing it was like you wait a little week and then yeah. you skate again and it was just this reoccurring thing it was because it feels man. fine probably feels when you fine. walk and then when you put the pressure and do stuff it's when it like you're like nope horrible yeah, yeah. having those injuries that linger like that fucking suck this is like my first one that like is like that everything else you kind of i don't know heals itself in a way you can take care of it you can put it put it away and like do the things necessary to really make it never come back. And you also know that you sprain your ankle. Mm-hmm. It's an ankle sprain. You yeah. know what to do, yeah. right? Something like that. That's like, you kind of, you, you're wondering what the hell's going on, mm-hmm. you know? Well, yeah. Like what happened was because of the whole pandemic and like our lockdown over here and our situation, it was insane. Like I was telling you guys, mm-hmm. like we just got out of the, I think it was the red, phase i, I don't okay. know it's five five stages whereas if we wanted to like if i wanted paint from home depot or like to grab i don't know a, a soda stream refill from home depot or i'm thinking a canadian tire and i'm putting it at home depot because right? <laughs> you guys don't have canadian tires over there so anyways i would have to call place an order and go curbside pickup like we weren't allowed in anywhere nowhere wow. food not even eating outside well, like you're a, not, it's minus 20. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's wintertime over here. Don't you have Gore Tex code? We do, but okay. I mean, <laughs> okay. you're not, not setting up shop with like heat lamps and shit. No, yeah. no, 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 no. So everywhere, everything is online, basically. You got to order stuff online, go pick it up or have it delivered. Delivery or, yeah. Wow. So I was, I was super hesitant about it, but I was, something was up. I didn't skate. I was getting super bummed. Probably a week of just being like, you know, a little pity party, whatever. Sure. And finally, like, you know what? I'm just going to go get an x-ray, see if I broke it because it's getting to that point, you know? And before I did that, I was like, okay, before I go to the hospital and go through that old ordeal, I'm going to call my physio guy and see if he'll see me. And then that's when I went and then it got diagnosed. And he was like, oh, yeah, it's going to take like three months. Oh, jeez. It ended up being a month because I took super good care of it before yeah. he let me go and like – skate a little bit and it, it's still there man it's it's not a way but right but it's manageable and you know that it's healing at least it's manageable and it's it's to the point where man i, I honestly still to this day no one understands skating but skaters right yeah you know? right. it's like I, like i love my physio guy he's the best but i don't think anyone understands what skateboarding entails physically until you do it i've said the same thing it's like when i had my achilles tendon problem filming for time to shine busted the achilles tendon and and i'm going to physical therapy and i'm looking at these people like do you guys have any idea what i Mm -hmm. put my body through what i put my legs through bending down alling jumping impact like i just have to put my trust in you guys to to hopefully heal it like I have no idea if you actually understand. I started really asking them what they compare it to. Mm. Like when I when I moved back to or when I moved east, I guess I had the physio guy in Vancouver that like Moses is Iconin and like wow. Mac now and McKay and all those dudes put me on and like his name's Kelvin. Dude, hands down, help me out with every injury I ever had. He would he would tell me come here after you roll your ankle. Go, I'll, I'll get you skating in half the time. Um, even if you can't walk, come here, you know? And then after I'd leave cert- certain sessions, he'd tell me, he'd be like, Wade, flat ground only. Or like, Wade, <laughs> two stairs, nothing bigger. Okay. <laughs> or Wade, <laughs> ledges. That's pretty Like, impressive. it was so sick. Like, he understood. So the guy that I have now, I got recommend, uh, yeah, I got a recommendation through my girl's friend. Mm. And he's he works with the Taekwondo Olympic team. And he's, dude, his whole... His office is in the basement of his house. It's just a trophy wall and a s- signature heaven from wow. the who's who of the Taekwondo martial arts world, right? Mm. F- photos with everybody, like little trust, little trustworthy mm-hmm. there. Little trust. He's got some there, credentials. Yeah. The first time I ever like went to him, he's like, "Okay, like let's analyze you." Little uh, orientation, mm-hmm. and within half an hour we talked, and then he like, "All right, stand up," and like just went like put his hands on my hips instantly was like yeah you're off by like an inch and a half grab my ankle he's like oh yeah this is off and i was like yeah you're my dude yeah Yeah, like you know because he gets the way that like ankles twist and stuff like i did martial arts right so he he understands that and he's he it's funny the first time i actually got treated by him it was for my ankle and he did the exact same thing that kelvin did in vancouver see that's when you know it reassured me 
a hundred percent. Right. Yeah. I mean, this you were a karate champion, dude. Oh, yeah. World champion. Oh, really? that was. Was. Nice. <laughs> you still do it at all? Little. I've been thinking more about getting back into it for sure. I mean, because dude, that's some good workout. Hey man, I never knew yeah, that, yeah. bro. I never knew that. That's pretty. I read sick. it in well, Ottawa Breeze. That's where I read it. Oh, yeah. they're talking. How about do you 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 have that one unlocked? Yeah. <laughs> like, that one never <laughs> changes. It's the Ottawa that's real, Breeze. That's that real, Saskatoon, like, Saskatoon <laughs> Regina. He, oh, we're those, gonna yeah. we're, we'll get there, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, right now, we're just focusing on Taekwondo and the well, Ottawa Breeze. I was gonna ask um, we, I noticed. Because you inspired me to start jump roping. Did you have to stop doing that because of your your injury, or did you keep doing it and that made it worse? Okay, um, oh, <laughs> shit. let's double back because I didn't even answer the first question before I started talking about my injury. The winter was good for the most part. <laughs> we our summer dragged on late. Fall extended pretty late mm. into. I think we were skating into the first week in November, and then it started getting super cold and whatever right our the park was open for a bit and then we went into that crazy lockdown right like nobody so yeah the owners could still skate and we we i skated there every day like, okay for sure sick um That's sometimes loft, skating right? by your the yeah loft. the skate loft yeah right. but it's, a, it's it's not the same skating by yourself as it would be skating with normal people and like yeah. getting a good session going yeah but it is what it is, you know. It At was least there. you had options, though. Shit. Yeah, for sure. Man, tr trust. I, <laughs> for real. It's a blessing for yeah. sure. I wish, like I, like I said earlier, I wish we could have been open and saw the kids and gave the kids a place to skate because for that's sure. the most important part about it. For sure. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. Holy cow! Damn, I can't believe um, how gnarly like your lockdown is down there. I'm not saying like, look, everybody went through some sort of lockdown, but, but still, certain places are just. Yo, some places are getting locked down even crazier right now. Like Chili's getting like gnarly level lockdown. Mm. Like you can't go there at all. Like it's they're just shutting things down again. We're third lockdown. I think they're saying tomorrow for Toronto, which is like insane because they just reopened us two weeks ago. Not even. And they're seeing cases spike or something or what? Man, well, at least you can go and skate, and your 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 foot's feeling better. At, at least <laughs> there's some positives there. You yeah. Know? To, I guess coincide with Kelly's question. Yeah, like when I was in karate, when I trained for the world championships. Yes. I remember skipping a a shit ton of rope. Like that's all we did. You know, like that was our um, endurance. You know, that was our warm up. That was everything. Like let's go rounds. And I remember it being fun because. I don't know. You're a kid. You don't really get tired. But I remember my senseis being there in the hoodies, like leaking through them, like trying to sweat out those pounds. And, you know, I was 11. So I was just, yeah, you could bounce this is fun, that. whatever. Sure. Yeah. You know, I don't know why we're doing this, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But then you brought it back, though. And I got to give credit where credit's due because my roommate in Vancouver for a bit, Brian Weary, the original Tiger, he would jump rope every day. Hmm. for like half an hour to an hour, huh. especially wow. in the winter. And I don't know if it was because he was rehabbing an injury or whatever, but I remember specifically he did it. And I would, I would say that, well, you know, I did that first, like <laughs> even though it, it was before social and whatever we would, but it was, it wasn't serious, but shout out to weary. But did that doing that again during the quarantine, did that hurt your foot? I haven't done it since my, your injury, since I got cleared to, skate and mm. do i guess like free range to do anything oh, okay, okay that's what made it worse dude like when i just thought i had a heel bruise i i was doing like i don't know you guys influenced by david goggins as well i know who he is yeah david goggins i, I have this place to myself and i'm just like it's pandemic everyone's tripping out i'm dealing with this injury i'm in my own head so the only thing i can think of doing when it's cold out is like okay it's Canada time at my park. I know I'm going to skate my park. I need to work out. Mm -hmm. I need to like take care of my body and make sure that I have these six months. If I, if I'm not traveling to really take care of it. So when the summer or spring and summer comes around the nice weather, good I'm go. good. And yeah. I don't have to really like maintain. Sure. Right. It's like, that's another side thing, but it's like, man, really think about this. How many skateboarders have ever taken like, a season off to take care of their bodies like any pro athlete like nhl players right nfl right. players basketball right. players yep. right. we skate every day all day doing crazy stuff totally 
These dudes train for four months out of the year, every day, to play a season. Yeah, but like 20 minute shifts a night going gung ho, maybe four times a night right. or four times a week. Right. We're skated for sometimes trying to trick for four or five hours each day for a week. Totally. You know, like that's a stretch, but it's happened. Oh, no, no it's not a stretch. I was going to say six hours. Like, I've yeah, definitely yeah, battled yeah. tricks. Been for, in those battles for yeah. sure. <laughs> Many but times. Oh, Dave I, Goggins, I the um, P Rod, that's who turned me on to him. What does he do? Goggins is the dude. Um, what's he been labeled as? The, the not the strongest, but the toughest man in the world, or some shit. Whoa, he's Ooh. like an Iron Man fitness like guru, dude. He beat the chin up world record. He um, runs. I think he ran every weekend for a year like a hundred mile race <laughs> it, like, no like dude he's unbreakable like right. basically i read his book like three times and the place he comes from is hell and he just says it he's like i don't feel sorry for myself and just does the work and that's the only thing i thought of at the time i was like well fuck like i'm gonna make myself indestructible like i'm not getting younger mm -hmm. i never have this time away from skating to like really make sure i'm at like my physical peak mm -hmm. sure you know like body wise and like totally. right heal my injuries whatever so all the time i had my heel bruise i was just being like stop being a bitch like right. you know go jump rope for an hour it hurts fuck it go run uh, 10 kilometers mm -hmm. don't be a bitch go skate right, don't right. be a bitch sure ended up making it way worse mm. that happens you yeah. think Maybe, sometimes you yeah. think like <laughs> that that pain is good pain Right. You're, you, fighting through you, this. you're fighting through it. Yeah. You're feeling yeah. it like, okay, cool. It's like, like you think if you can't, like if it hurts so much, you can't do it. Then like, then you shouldn't do it. Does that make sense? Like if it hurts so bad, you can't do it. You're like, I shouldn't do this, but right. if it hurts enough so you can get through it, you're like, it's right. all right. Yeah, definitely. You know? For sure. Especially if you're treating it in the, in the, in the same process, you know, like you're icing it or doing whatever you yeah. can. To yeah. CBD I mean, in that thing, whatever mm -hmm. you can do. Yeah. You know? I was just having a conversation at the beach with this guy the other day. He's like a personal trainer, vegan, whatever. Just met him down at the beach skating. And uh, we were talking about health and fitness and everything. And it's like, man, if, if, if back in the day when we were, you know, growing up mm -hmm. and all those, all these skaters were, you know, health and fitness and taking care of their Gosh, body, yeah. a lot of these guys would have had way longer careers no doubt. than they would have. Honest you know? question though. Do you think that shit would have flown back then? It, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was like not <laughs> a thing. It was frowned upon. Like it wasn't like, really like. Yeah, but we're all individuals, dude. If somebody's doing something that's good for their health, man, I don't give a fuck what you think. But like, it wasn't yeah, but back then. But it yeah, wasn't a yeah, thing, no. though. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It, it wasn't would be, a thing. It'd be like dude, he's just doing his little thing, right? But yeah, it, I wouldn't be like, yeah, I'm jumping on that. That that you know what I'm saying? And I, right. Yeah. Like yeah, I just came from the gym. I'm gonna go skate the world park. You yeah. know what I mean? No, like no. Oh like, yeah. Hell you, no. You know, yeah, like, I don't, I don't, oh, yeah, but no. you know what I mean? We had we had Slogo. He was like that type, you know, because he had you know to stay fit for you know doing his stuntman stuff. So mm -hmm, you know there was mm -hmm. that type of guy, and I looked at that, and I would be like, damn, he's he's fit though. Yeah, you know, right. he's fit for sure. Yeah, right. You know, right. At the end of the day, you could yeah. You could never hate on someone for doing something good for themselves. Yeah, like, definitely. But I get what you're also, saying. Though. I get what you're we saying. We also didn't know enough. Right. You sure. know what I'm saying? Like sure. the medicine wasn't at the the place it is today. Social so, media wasn't around either. Social media, the Googling, all that stuff. And social media can make it even worse because there's smart, dumb people, which is smart. Terrible, <laughs> right? Like they try to they try to like That's give true. you their like their cure and it's fucking some meme page and yeah. thanks bro like i'll look <laughs> no, into it it's funny you say that because i remember jim thebo telling me like dude like because i seen him stretching you know and i was just like what are you doing and he's just like i'm stretching he's like one day you'll you'll you know need to and i'll be like i ain't gonna be stretching <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but sure enough like you know years to come and sure. i'm like here we are i'm i'm stretching it and it right. feels good you know what i mean to, to actually stretch your body before you skate yeah. yeah. Imagine like the world park. You got Cream Campbell jump roping over there. You got homeboy like doing <laughs> yeah. the weight things. You got the, you know what I mean? Like totally. imagine hey, that, totally. right? Wasn't day, wasn't day one fucking yoked up though on those days? That guy's yeah, always but he been. was, I yeah. think, a natural yoked up. I think he might have been doing like push ups and stuff, but like, yeah, he was, he was like, a natural like built that yeah. way, dude. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's good though. Health and fitness, man. Like I, I gotta get into it. I, I just, it's hard for me, you know, like. Well, you're yeah. a busy guy. You know I'm busy, mean? you know, but. Uh, get a little couple push-ups in there, you know? I tried. I got a pull-up bar. I used it a couple times. <laughs> <laughs>
it's, it's gotta whole, find you gotta find the routine, dude. It's a whole know? thing, that's, Wade. That's yeah, what it yeah. is. It's a whole thing. But um, but at least you're good now. Like feeling good. By the way, heel bruise. Yeah. What are you doing? What were you jumping down? What are you? Did you? It was what, El Toro. What's going on? No. Um, one of our friends uncapped the classic three block, the brick three block in Vancouver when I was out there. Wait, uh, the brick three. The Mike, Mike Carroll back one eighty and questionable. Mm-hmm. I think. Questionable Wait a minute. or virtual? Up virtual. and over? No. Yeah, yeah. Up the one over. you yeah. skate. The one you skate. Yeah, in... I, the one I skated in KO. Oh. Inward heel. Yeah, yeah. Inward yeah. heel or switch inward heel? Regular inward heel. Regular. Uh, a few other tricks. Pop up. We have that clip. We're going to play it for you in a little bit. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's, that's really, that's why it's a, good, it's a good spot. So they uncapped that. They put a bar across it, like chest high bar. Oh, The wow. homie went there. I'm like... Did I say his name? If I said his name, <laughs> don't, really? don't, don't, don't say his name. Yeah, dude. Didn't fucking saws all the bottom of it and then took the top off and just hit it in the bush sure. like down the street. So wow. there's no evidence. Super, t- yeah. Wow, twisted. dude. And so you were jumping down that, got the heel bruise. First try, I kicked away, exploded my heel. Oh man. <sighs> got the trick and another trick. Wait Kept a minute. Moving and oh, then, first wow. try, you blew your heel and you it. still continued to, to try the trick. Yeah, man. I mean, you gotta, I don't. That that spot is gonna get capped. Right. It's, you know how it is. No, when you're yeah. in it, you're, yeah, in it, you're, you're in it. going for it. I right. hear you. It only right. starts to hurt when you're done. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty Next day was, truth. yeah. You know how it is. Five, six, seven, eight months later, pretty much. Is that what we're talking? Yeah. September. So. Oh, September. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Five months. Oh, like six, six months. Six months. Six months. Six months. Jeez. You're right. Sometimes I could do the math a little bit, but <laughs> other times. No. I was hoping you were wrong on that one. Jeez. Well, I said eight, but you know, six. Still, seven. Six months. That's a long time it to be. Is. Six, seven months. That's a long time to be out, dude. Well, no, I wasn't out. <laughs> I came back, took a week off, and then hit the streets for the remaining of the year here. And then, like I said, I think it's once I started like doing weights and skipping and running and stuff like that is what I really see. oh i see, see. Yep. right aggravation yeah like right. and it was every day it was constant like if i'm going right. out skating i could be like i'm not skating this or i could just skate a ledge and i could do tricks that i'm not putting most of my weight on that foot right. you know but doesn't that suck that that sucks though you know it's like it made a lot of things worse because right. i counterweighted it with my other foot and then i had to correct that yeah so mm-hmm. but we're here. You right? stay off one. You're you're hurt. You stay off one ankle. You're limping. Now all of a sudden, your the side of your body's all messed up. Mm-hmm. It's just like this give or take just thing. Yeah. I don't. I, I still want to chat with you before we get into these clips and stuff, dude. I well, let's talk about real quick. We can roll in and freaking edit it and post. No, we don't, <laughs> yeah, we don't edit it. But uh, well, I, I will show just because we are talking about it real quick. Um, I will show this this one spot that you were talking about. I here. got this uncapped. Is the, this is the on the. The one they were talking about. Mm. Oh, the heel clicker. Fuck. <laughs> so you that didn't, is. You didn't hit your heels on come that. Come on, Wade. Let's, t- let's I just, break the, this The down. worst part about it is I had a sequence in a magazine, and you can't have a sequence of an inward heel or a still <laughs> shot of an inward heel. It's like. tough. It's tough. But you know what, though? They, it's one of those tricks that there's kind of no other way to do it, right? Yeah. It's like you, you, you can, but. but your Stuchy. feet do kind of come together, you know, the way that Just, you have that's, to that's natural, kick right? out and, yeah, go, yeah. and come back. Right? But with you saying like it doesn't look good in, you know, photos, it looks rad as fuck in like videos. Ooh. You know, I'm just glad the, the the t-shirt and everything kind of masked it. The jeans you can't the really jeans. see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't really see. Oh, trust me. We have some other clips here too. With, oh, uh, yeah. You know, could barely. I think it. It didn't get bigger than that, so I'm cool. Dude, I just that, tripped. That, that's pretty bad, man. Like, <laughs> well, listen, the- we got some Jason. We got some Jason Kidd pants. We're gonna. Oh, that's my like. Besides the tray t- or the tray flip t- trick tip, the Jason Kidd pants is. That's number one. I get that all day, all day. Inbox, all that shit. Bring back the J Kid pants. Oh like I actually God. miss those. Like Damn. I don't know what happened to them. Imagine what? you have them framed in your house. Like that's amazing. Dude, what about well, how did you decide to try inward heel flip on that? It is like the randomest trick to try up and Dude, over. That set that session was super fun. That session lasted like fifteen minutes. Oh, you fifteen just did. minutes. Oh, because you switched front side flipped it too. And I almost front threed it, and then Ooh. I landed. I was like, "Fuck it, I'll come back." I'm okay. not. I wasn't pushing my luck, but right. I don't know. But wait, how how high is that to get over that first block? Normal ledge. What are we talking it's not, about? It's not like high. shin high. Top In between shin. shin and knee. Okay. It's not, okay. it's not low, it's not high. 
But Kelly's right, man. The inward heel, pop yeah, up and that. over something, and then down. It, it, it's a, it's it's not that easy. It's a random you know, trick. It's a random. <laughs> random. I don't know. Uh, Ted to grow. Mm. I'll plug him. Oh he, yeah! Uh, wow. He used to inward heel over shit. Yeah. And we, I don't know. I learned them one day at Plaza, and I started doing them straight over the flat bar, and that's why I was still there. Mm-hmm. Helped one and fuck, dude. That was a shock. I blacked out and I was riding away. Isn't so. that weird? That's the best. It's weird Love it. shit. Yeah. I did it. Wow. Crazy. Was that it? You got it? it was, you got it? How did that, how'd that <laughs> look? I don't did even did know I how do it, it felt. <laughs> did you do that or switch front side at first? That was first, and then I switched front side flipped it, I think, like, second try. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, that session was great. Like, but we used, we used to honestly go there and just skate that thing. Like, just throw whatever over it. Middle of the day, fucking try whatever. So it's a super bust. Weekends, it was... It was mellow? A go, okay. yeah. Huh. I mean, it looks like... It, it's kind of big, but it's not. It just looks like a good. It's a good setup for it. It's like you it's have a to good. Keep playing this. I don't know. It's <laughs> over and over. Dude. I know, that's what Raj is the one in control. I almost get mesmerized there. too. I'm sitting there looking at it like over and over. I can't. It's like, why are you? Why is it still going? We're going. We're going full screen on this, man. Come on, bro. Oh, he's sick. No, but uh, <laughs> it's funny because. Um, the way that you're saying they put a bar over it, I'm wondering even if it was just for safety for people tripping and falling over that fucking thing, you know? Sometimes I mm-hmm. wonder about those little things, you know? Well, before they did that, they put massive planters at the top of them mm. and at the bottom, but you can just spin them. And right. like even the footage that I have now with the bar cut, I go between the planters. Gotcha. Oh. It looks sick. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Spenny, Spenny put a hurting on that place, even though he won't. What did he, he do? It, Is it out yet? It's not out no. yet. Oh, okay. Dude, Just, he handled like four things in literally like 10 minutes the last time I was there or something like that. And it was just like. Damn. Just whispered yeah. into your mic, man. Nobody will. Whisper it. Whisper it. Whisper it. <laughs> hey, you know what's tight? Uh, will Marshall did the fakie tray on that thing. That mm-hmm. was good, man. Wow. Yeah, dude. Will, he's beast. He's beast. Glad reminds, he's getting his shine for sure. It reminds yeah. me of that spot in New York that has like an up and over like mm. three block down. At the park? At the park. Harlem. Yeah. Yeah. The one at Harlem, the green one? Yeah. I think oh. the one that Diego did something. You think he did hard flip? Hard flip. But did he do a Nolly tray or a fakey tray? What did he do? A, a no. few things have been done on that thing. Yeah. Either way. It looks beast, yeah, though. Definitely. You can skate it up and down? No, it's usually skated down. Oh, now you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Diego did. No, 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 no. Yeah. Hard I didn't flip. Austin Gillette. Yeah. Hard flip, but he did something else. Oh, Austin yeah. fakey traded, right? Yeah. I think that's, he that's what it was. Like, I know what you're like talking about. It's right. got those, like, drop, those tall ledges, yeah. the transfer it's ones. Step up ledges. Step up ledge, yeah. This reminds me of this spot. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That, the one in New York is way gnarlier. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's way harder to skate. I had never been to I've been to this one, but I've never been Kelly, to Kelly, you ever skated the one in Vancouver? No. <laughs> but I could just tell. I could tell because I don't want the New York one. It's the the run up is jack. The run up is so twisted. Yeah. Man. Anybody that, that does a trick over that is nuts. Tiago mm. like straight Nolly healed it. I was like, Get the, Oh yeah. That was gnarly. Eric Nolly big flipped it, right? Damn. Gnarly. Is that what Diego wait who did? Merrick. Mar- Merrick. Oh, Merrick, dude. Wow. That dude's gnarly. Yeah, man. All, both of those guys, they could do anything. Yeah. They could do anything. They that want. little lineup is pretty good. Crazy. Wow. Well, speaking of all the good, the primitive dudes, uh, well, how's everything going over there, man? I think, remember the last time you were here, uh, you had just kind of got on primitive and you were talking about how, you know, it was just great and, Jeez, you know, yeah. traveling again and stuff like that. It's, it's uh, good. Yeah, primitive's good. Primitive's real good. Always good. What do we got, Sick. bro? We got some exclusive stuff to talk about right now. I just we're about? filming a video, and I wanted I wanted to make sure that I could talk about it. You know, well, give the, the the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said to mention it. Here's so. the thing, nice. and we'll talk about this video too, because here's the thing with primitive that I love is they they'll just drop something on you real quick. They'll mm-hmm. just put out this part. They'll put out a part with like you know a couple dudes in it or mm-hmm. whatever. Like they they just. They're, they're, they're content kings right now, man. Mm-hmm. Like, they just do it. Alan Hannon, dude. Alan, man. Yeah. I think it's amazing, you know? They just hit you over the head with it real quick. Instant gratification. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nail on the head. I don't know what else to say on that one. I mean, just from the outside looking in, it's just rad. You're like, oh, shit, here's a... Prim-. Like, we didn't know anything about it. They're don't, not advertising anything. It's just like, hey, here's a fucking video. It'll blow your mind. You know Well, what you mean? know how, like, expectations are? Especially yeah. with, like, you start fucking saying some of those guys. Whew. It's like... 
Yeah. Okay, what's Tiago got now? Like, Dude. Okay, yeah. Convey the better footage. Yeah. But then, like, yeah, when he when he gives it to you, you're still like, okay, how did he just do that? You know, mm-hmm. same with all the guys. Dude. So you got a big Prim- squad, man. Yeah. Prim- Prim- dope, squad. man. It's gnarly squad. It's, they're um super motivating and good friends. Do you know like what the lineup is? And I know everyone will probably have tricks, but you know some they usually have like certain lineup of certain parts just with can, the, the can this get edited or no <laughs> no <laughs> like no. it doesn't uh, no it doesn't. we we edit it but you know just give us the- <laughs> 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 as you look at jerome like i'm like looking oh, over i know right yeah, yeah that's exactly. why i keep saying whisper exactly. like nobody did it okay everyone's the goal the goal originally right full parts at everybody <laughs> full video wow Let's get it, so, P Rod. Let's go. Let's go. With that He's being working. said, yeah, it's obviously it's tough. It's last year was cut yeah. because of COVID. No more, no traveling. Um, yeah, this year, who knows what's gonna happen? That was that. That was the initial talk. Let's have everybody have full parts, and then we'll go. And you know, here's the thing, man. When P Rod was on the show. Where I, you know, I always ask Piro, what's up with the full part, blah blah blah, and he's like, oh, I'm done with that, I'm done mm. with that. He hurts his knee. He's coming back stronger than ever, and you could see it in his eye, man. Like he's gonna have, he's go, he's going for it. He's, you know. He's, and he's I, I tell Paul, I'm like, Paul, never say never, dude. You know what I mean? Like never say never, dude. Mm-hmm. You're gonna, you, you, you could get that spark, you know, and film a whole fucking part. Didn't he say that? And then he made a video called Never. I think you're right. Yeah, he like didn't he get. He said it on here. Right, and then he made the video that was the primitive video called "Never." Yeah, so it's never coming out. It's, oh, it's never coming out, and it came out. What are you checking? Uh, well, you're checking some notes, Wade. You're te- nah. <laughs> are you texting? <laughs> are you texting are you Taylor? Are you, are you texting I'm Taylor? Telling, I'm telling him that I mentioned it, and <laughs> if, if it's cool that I said we're going for a full length, we're at least expecting a Wade part in this. Yeah, like I would love to. You, you know, I talk to you all the time, Kelly, about my plans. Yeah, but it's gonna be different, and it's unfortunate. But like, if we can travel, it'll be it'll be dope. It's yeah. just yeah. the it sucks going to a park, especially here, learning things, and then, dude, you can't do any like really hard technical tricks on these ledges or these spots out here in the east. It's tough. You know what I mean? Like, you're yeah. not doing nollie flip, crook nollie trays in New York. Yeah, you true. know what I'm saying. You need like and Canada is basically the same thing. Mm. Not like I'm doing nollie flip crook nollie trays, but you you get my yeah, analogy. Yeah, sure. you need like that that marble or like the China ledge, Barcelona ledge, Barcelona. Type. Yeah, yeah. 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 So and traveling like, just takes you out of your element. You know, it's a it's good sparked, thing. You get yeah. sparked. You know, yeah. sometimes when you're at home, you just kind of fall into your little home routine yeah. and stuff, and it's get hard to hard sure. to get get clips sometimes. But, yeah. Uh, Where would you want to travel if you wanted to go somewhere to film? Oh man. They said only one trip. Hmm. We're doing only one trip. What are, where are we going, Wade? Yeah, right. Um, I'm thinking just two right now, China or Barcelona. Like Johnny Tang's back here now, and I've been talking to Johnny about China. He's like, man, you got to go. Dude, you have to go. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You've Ooh. never been to China. I've been to China for two days on a, on a demo trip. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, you need yeah, to go to China yeah, for like a month. You'll trip. Out. <laughs> I almost don't Bug think out. a month is long enough in It China. really isn't. You know, well, you actually, here's the only thing. Bro. And, and no, I, I think Wade's a pretty picky eater. You might be tripping out in the food out there. That's uh, the only you thing. could get by. If, you, if you're eat. there for a month, you'll navigate through it, bro. Like, that, that's yeah. a that's a big thing, though. Like, it really is. Yeah, like you're like, what the hell? And plus, you have to have someone showing you around. That's the that's yeah. the main thing. Yeah, is getting getting to all these spots. Go with Clairvaux, you'll be good. Wait, it's like it's like crazy, bro. I'm, I can't believe you've never been out there. That's insane man. to me. It's like you're it's like you're heaven out there. You would fucking the ledge me. spots are unreal. Ooh. Man, honestly, the the places I really love skating is I love skating the UK. Okay, mm-hmm. I love skating France. <clears throat> yeah, and I love Spain. I would Spain's love to go great. to Madrid. Yeah. I've never been to Madrid. Madrid's amazing. I would like to check out like man, Magnus Borda. Am I saying this like Bordovic or Bordewick? The, the dude, dude that was on Adidas and he, numbers. Yeah, the, yeah, he just came out he with just that part. He just dropped a part. Yeah. Oh my Ooh. god, dude! I'm that dude's like biggest fan for real. Like that, the spots that that guy skates, and I don't know if it's in like Sweden or Norway, mm-hmm. but those spots over there, like Bobby De Kaiser skates a bunch of those spots in um, his last Converse part, mm-hmm. and he told me like all those spots over there are unreal, and the people, the culture. I would, I would like to. It's, 
it's dope. It's different looking than like the yeah. average European. Place, so that's the know? top on your list right there. China's not on it. I just don't like the the aesthetic wise. There's no feeling. There's mm. no there's no vibe out of it. Okay, mm. okay. But I if I had a month that. deadline to film a primitive part, yeah, I would probably say <laughs> to go to China. Okay. Have, you, have you been to Stalin Square? <laughs> yeah, I have. Did you like it? Not unfortunately, but dude, I'm drawn. You want to hear something funny? I'll tell you something. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Damn. So I've always wanted to skate Stalin. Mm-hmm. Always. My first time skating Stalin was on a on the Euro primitive trip in front of like a thousand kids. A thousand oh, people. Okay. Just fucking. Yeah. And one kid, my board slid out to this kid, and I'll never forget it, man. And fucking he I went to pick it up and he kind of like sent it back to me. He's like, You'll land something. And I was like, mm. Wow. That about, that about sums it up. <laughs> like, oh. I'm just gonna go over here and cruise around and not do anything it bummed me out to be yeah. honest but yeah it sucks that like one dude could just yeah tear down a, a whole situation and, and you're trying to enjoy this the moment you know what i mean and like skate with your peers and, and do the so-called demo for some people like damn. Uh, that like let alone skating a spot and then maybe trying to get a clip or something or even just having fun but then having all these people around you watching yeah it's like it's a lot come on bro yeah but then it's also like I'm getting used to the spot. We're all warming up. Right. But then you got like Tiago and Carlos and Paul and Gio Ooh. and all those, Trent, all those dudes just flying around at the time, landing everything. Like things I've never even done on a skateboard. They're just <laughs> rifling it off. Clockwork. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when he did the switch pop, shove it late 180, like oh, super gnarly, yes, right? Yes, that was there. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> that was <laughs> wow that was a lot of people yeah. wow yeah <laughs> yeah that was my dude i had shaky legs for sure yeah, that's great when you skate a demo your like legs the, get shaky like just the 50 50s oh. and the no slides like to break in that there's can, no saving you I, <laughs> there's no saving you at stolen like at stolen it's a street spot you yeah, know what i mean it's yeah. not a it's not a park. Right. There's not a hip that you can kick flip and frontside flip and do it all <laughs> heels. Like you, you're skating flat. You're warming up on flat. You're skating ledges that are real ledges that you've never skated. Yeah, yeah, man. It's it was a different animal. It was fun though. It was an experience. I can't say I haven't been through the same thing, bro. I've definitely gotten to that point where I'm just like everyone's killing it around me. Like in the, yeah, you get the shaky leg and you're just like, you know what? Let's sit this one out. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> everyone, everyone plays a different role though. That's what I realized. No I'm doubt. like, you have like those dudes, like the 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 Tiagos and all those guys that can handle the demos. Then you see me on the side. I think Wade's kind of the same way. I don't I, whatever, but this is I would assume it's like you kind of scurry to the side and you skate some flat ground with the, some random kids sure. and hang yeah. out on the side. And For sure. That's how it is. You know, right. that's how I would do it. Yeah. That's how I would do it too. Yeah. <laughs> I'd maybe do one nose grind on the ledge and just bounce. I'd be yeah. like, later. Silent out. Yeah. Here, Houdini. Where, where's Starbucks? And then and then kids <laughs> kids straight up were like, yo, I, I'm playing skate with Wade Desarmo over there. That was so fun. You know, like. Mm-hmm. Now, there's a way that you can make it work. Oh, and yeah. like, there you is. know, interact with the kids and make it about that, you know, versus but going out and being like. It was, that, it was an awesome time. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I loved being there. It was just at the same time, yeah. once it was all done, I'm looking at the spot being like, fuck, we're going to a another place another city tomorrow and you want to skate it yeah that that was my stall in time right like Damn. yeah my but, time to but shine, then if you right? do that hey. if you go to this you skate flat in the side and then the filmer comes like hey can you get some tricks for the edit dude we need some tricks for our tour video and you're like fuck or you're just yeah. over skating one thing and you're having a great time on that thing but the filmers are over here oh, yeah. on like the <laughs> rail or something yeah. and you're like well, I'm up to the. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, would, uh, I mean, I could get something if you would. It's always the big section that gets the attention, dude. You know? I'm always, never yeah. on the big yeah. section. Yeah. It is though. You come right, catch right. me on the ledge, bro. Yeah. Right. Got a manual pad there. He might be here for a while, but yeah. like, I can get a clip. I can get a clip. There's not many demos anymore, huh? Especially now. I um, feel like in the heyday of chocolate and girl, like we were going to demos it, every summer. Mm-hmm. At least there was a whole a whole mm-hmm. three months of demos lined up. Like yeah, here, there, and fucking everywhere. Once social media really kicked off, like things kind of slowed down, I think, demo-wise for some reason. It's true. You they know? kind of uh, put a wrench in it a little bit. Yeah. Because then now kids can just reach out from reach out to you from anywhere. Yeah, but, yeah, sure. but I just think like it was always different when pros and like even amateurs and teams would just come to like my town in Ottawa. You know, like no matter who it was, it was mm-hmm. just like, yo, they're fucking anti-hero or whatever. It's like, let's go see these oh. dudes skate, mm-hmm. you know, in person. 
Totally. Like we see them in the videos, even though we don't really can't relate to the type of skating that you're doing, obviously. But like then when you see them in person, the understanding you get and like the the respect you gain for their type of skating and like how much power they have or the slams they take. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. you notice little nuances when you see someone in person, you know? Totally. And I think that I don't know. You don't really get that in Instagram. How yeah. crazy is that when you see someone that you've been idolizing for so long in real life? Mm-hmm. That is like a what? Like in skateboarding, especially. Oh my right. God. I remember seeing like Jason Dill as a kid. I'm like, dude, that's fucking Jason Dill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you yeah. can't even like. It's like they look different, but they're exactly the same. You know, like they're shorter, or, and then I, don't I know. never, mo- no, I never noticed true. that mole on his chin. Or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like but then you see him something creepy, you know. But then you see them not landing tricks because you only oh, yeah. see them land tricks right. in the videos. It humanizes them. Yeah, you're like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, you, I don't know. Or it's the, the complete opposite, and it's well, like I remember seeing Appleyard and McCrank at like an early age and being like, sick. They don't miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> There are those dudes, like yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. There's some special guys. Because so, ski, yeah. skating goes in waves too, right? It's like up, it's down, it's up, it's down. I think when social media kind of came in too, like skateboarding was kind of on a downward. You know, like companies were going out of business, and there was a, there was kind of a big kind of little shake up. So, you yeah. know, I mean, I remember I, it was like I would, I would I got a phone call one time from like Sam, like, hey, we're going to Australia like tomorrow. You want to go? I'm like, yeah, Sick. like. That doesn't happen. Yeah. I, don't yeah. know. I don't even talk to Sam anymore. But. Like he said, tomorrow. <laughs> no, well, but it, I, no, I, but it was literally like four days from now. It was wow. like, and I saw somebody had dropped out yeah. and I was just in there. Let's it's, go. Like, go, it's a demo tour. Right, I'm like, yeah, let's, let's go. go. All the nose grinding at lunch. Over there. I remember Roger saying, he was like, yeah, companies don't, aren't going to focus on demos or traveling yet because people can just reach out on Instagram. Like we were saying. So they folk like, hey, have the writers be posting more, mm-hmm. and then we don't have to spend money on these demo trips or whatever. And I, I think well, it's, it's kind of like kinda, that's. I mean, that's kind of weird because then it takes out the traveling element that everyone kind of gets together and, and they, mm-hmm. you know, camaraderie. Totally. Yeah, they, yeah. They come together for a specific reason, right? Yeah. yeah. But like, I mean, I thought it was cool to like travel and then do social media. Definitely. I was like, that's where I was like, let's go, let's go to DC, let's go to New York, let's do all this shit. And just well, it's almost like nowadays with the social media, you you see those people who are like on the private jets, and you're like, oh, this guy's life is great, <laughs> right, Raid? You know what I mean? Like, but in in the aspect of like, he's uh, sorry, he almost choked on you. <laughs> He almost choked on his water. Yes. <laughs> his his team. But with the Rolex and the thing, and they're in the car, and they're with the, you know, they're in the hot tub. You know, but it, it would, Kelly would be the same thing, though, as the skateboarders going to all these countries. Is that fucking private plane? Is that what you said? You know, you know who I'm talking about, Wade. It's these fucking, you know. It's just funny. <laughs> but it would be the, almost the same thing as a skaters, right? Like jet setting around the world, going to these Barcelonas, and oh, now they're here, now they're there. That's something intriguing about yeah, that. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, you yeah. know, people want to follow along. People don't understand what it's like if they're not in the industry doing it, unfortunately. But we can show them. You're out in the streets every day filming, you know, on the beach, fucking drinking no. Mai Tais all day. No, oh, you no. go to Barcelona, you, you're on the beach, you're enjoying, it's, it's not that type of trip. Like, yeah. No, Th- those type of trips come around once in a blue moon, right? Where you could kind of just do your thing, skate, film, do whatever. But yeah. for the most part, I live in the moment. Yeah, I don't even remember what little providence I was in what country. Like yesterday, you know what I mean? Like you, dr- you, you drive through, you yeah. fly on a plane, you go here, you go there. I mean, it's like, dude, I don't know what spot was in what country. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, like what was that nineteen or twenty when we went to Spain. Wade, we, we were drinking like every night. We were like happy to, or at least I was. Like, I'm going to the bar. We would have a good old time, come back at like three in the morning. I'd be up at nine o'clock skating all day. Yeah. There's no way I could do that after around 25. Right. You know what I mean? No, you move a lot slower. You move a lot slower, but those were the days, man. Those were no the doubt. real good days. Well, no nowadays doubt. you just be jump roping at nine o'clock at night. Fucking get. I can't hyped. do it at night. I, can't. Oh. <laughs> I do it in the morning, dude. Okay. First thing in the morning. Okay. Hey. You're like, I'm tired. <laughs> I can't do man. it at night. <laughs> Waking up and I'm tired from jump roping last night, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I could skate today. I was up till two in the morning okay. jump roping last night. I've been man. jump roping all night. Man. I, was fucking, I was at those whew, right over there by the club. <laughs> Jump roping. Jump roping in front by of the, the club. club. Yeah, by the club. <laughs> <laughs> Just in line for the club, jump roping. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. Movies are drinking. He's sitting there you jumping. Jump roping. <laughs> man, my legs are done. <laughs> Sweating. I barely walk today. I need some water. 
<laughs> to rehydrate. Oh man. Well, we'll get back out there, dude. You know what I mean? Like times will change. Damn, we'll get look. back out there. We'll tour. We'll you tour the world. And I say we, I mean you. You know, I'm probably not going to go anywhere. No. But, uh, huh? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. But listen, wait. I can't wait for this because listen, we have some clips we pulled. We it was fun talking about that clip, but let's bring can't it back. Wait. You know what I mean? Let's bring it back. Bring it back. Let's bring it back. Oh, that you already did bring it. Oh, dude, you guys are gonna love this day. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. Perfect. <laughs> no, well, yeah, ac- yo, actually, all you will fucking love this day. I mean, you still have to play the whole thing on repeat, I guess, right? <laughs> sure, yeah. sure. I mean, Roger could switch it back and forth, whatever. Uh, um, or I guess that session that was me and or Travis Stanger. And ooh. I. Wow. Mm. Hell yeah. yeah. Skating skating that spot with uh Ryan McGuigan, the Green Apple filmer. The Green Apple yeah, just Ryan McGuigan. I always saw this spot like cost and skating yeah, it and spot. every yeah, and that yeah. that's when I first saw that yeah, spot and I'm like yeah. I'm like, I had, man, I always wanted to go there. Mm-hmm. You know, I never did, but one of those spots, just like iconic. Definitely. You know where like, was that at? Like it was in Vancouver, right? It's dude, that's still there. Still there. Amazing. Skate, Skateable? Still there. Oh yeah. Wow. What? I think Malto had a line there not too long ago, too. Yeah. Maybe some other people the, as well. You can't skate the, like, Costany does a line, right? He does switch back 5 0 shove. Yeah. Switch front shove, and then the best switch front heel on flat. Yeah. Yep. And then front nose grind on the rail. Yep. That first ledge, you can't skate anymore. Gotcha. But it was called the new spot, right? Was that new spot or was mm-hmm. that the other? No, new spot is the green rail, the green angled rail with the five flat five. The one he you do, like, flips. Double trips. Oh, okay. Gotcha, little gotcha. curves. Oh, yeah. They would skate. Yeah. Okay. Tony Tony Ferguson, Colin McKay back in the yes. day. Like, that's yeah. new that's spot. That's the new spot. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, this is just UBC, like University of British Columbia. Mm. So the session was you, Travis Stinger. And the uh, filmer. So, like, when we were roommates at the Chateau, fucking just skating. Damn. How old were you? Oh, wait, what was this in? This was in a video, right? Like, this what- was in... Uh, the, I started going out to Vancouver to film for this um, video, ma- not video magazine, just like I guess a video company. I don't know how to. S- what, like a what, four in one called? type style? Yeah, they wanted to do something like that, like more regularly, but hmm. it was called Five Foot Twelve. So okay, huh? And so that it was, was fun, in that video. Times. Yeah, that was fucking the. I don't know what made me think of this trick. I think I was doing switch 50180s and I couldn't really front feeble at the time. And the best trick I could do on that was probably kick front board. So I was just, you know, you know, when you do lines back in the day, when you land the first trick, if you ever land it, you just go for that second one. <laughs> yeah. That's this line. And that was the <laughs> first switch with 50180 I've ever done. I don't even know if I was trying revert. I don't, you, you yeah. Did that I don't know. Perfect, bro. Oh my God. For the first time That's why I held it for so long. After I landed, I was in shock. I was like, <laughs> oh shit, the, the flat bar. Get to the flat bar. But then that's the most nerve wracking thing ever, Amazing. though. The second trick. I was, I, how old was I? 15, 16 at okay. this point. You're I was gung ho. I was, a kick front board at that age was. You know, you Chilling. fling it and yeah. yeah. Right. You know, okay. you know that. Yeah. Not a kickflip front board for me, but like a nose grind. Like if it was a nose grind on the ledge. No, because you got to aim You got to aim a nose grind. This is you just flip it and put your feet wherever and you slide. He looks at it a little it. different. He looks at it a little it, bit it's different. It's nice though, because I, I never really like did kickflip front boards, never looked at it that way, you right. know? It's, I mean, once you kind of learn it, it kind of is just kind of easy to get into. Yeah. It's pretty simple, but. So you would say that like that was like the sec the the kickflip run board was like the go to. You're like got this trick. Now I'm just going mean, to do something I know. Hoping, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is scary because it kind of it kind of goes out like it gets taller and taller right. as it goes, right? So it's a little scary, no. or no? No, it's there's like a ledge on the other side that you can put your foot on, and it, dude, I think it ends a little over knee high. Like it's, I'm just probably a lot shorter in this footage. So it's it's a safe. Le- oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, that that okay. ledge right I mean, there. Yeah, right. I handled that. It okay. was like it was mad comfortable. It's like yeah. But dude, the switch flip five zero. Wow, yeah. dude, perfect. Can you play the audio or no? No, we got the music rights. We. Because no, oh, I, I just thought it was the raw clip because you can hear Stanger in the background after because he was we were battling and betting 
And he, yes. his, dude, he did his line seriously like eight times, and it never <laughs> came. He never came out because he just did Stanger. Somebody's been right. posting some Stanger clips. Like, Manolo. was that memory screen Manolo. or Manolo? Okay, it's yeah. like a whole week or two of yeah, it was <laughs> incredible, dude. Dude, he's the best. What the best. is he doing now? I haven't talked to Trav in years, mm. but I'm pretty sure he's in the Duke working for his dad's company. Oh, word. Which is comfortable. Yeah. Let's talk about this one. This is a uh, LA high corner pocket rail. You just done, you did, you put a hurting on this rail, man. Was this on a random trip to LA? You went there multiple times. What, what was going on at this point? I mean, all those were different nights. I mean, the switch friend feeble was, uh, that was the same night as the heel back Smith. Gotcha. Yeah. And the cable backsmith or no, the kickback Smith. I think I was staying at your crib, Kelly. I think you really? were staying. You were staying at my house. We needed to switch from front feeble. Because you came home no, that wasn't, night. Wasn't I at Stanfield's? No, you. Ca- I remember you came home. I think I may have told you on this when on your last episode. You came back to the house super pissed off, and I didn't understand why. And I was. I looked at Bridges, and I was like, "Wow, is he so mad?" He's like, "He switched from feeble to LA high, but he didn't like the way he landed." <laughs> <laughs> wow. And it was that night. I was like, "What?" And then that was yeah. That was the last. That was the trick you did. I'm pretty sure that's is that Bridges or is that CU shooting the photo? Bridges shot the switch foot front feeble. I don't know who's filming that fisheye. Because Stanfield would you would film with Stanfield a bunch, right? When you were out here, I came and stayed at Stanfield's one time with Trep. Mm. Oh wow! But that okay. So that night, that switch front feeble and the heel back Smith. That's the first night I actually tried switch with front feebling on it. Oh. And it just wasn't working. Like I couldn't flick it properly. And then I remember I heel back lipped this rail a long time ago. And um, you, I don't. The benches still aren't there, are they? Like the little wooden benches. I think they are. I know which ones you're talking about. There, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they're on the little outskirts. Yeah. So while the while the lights were, I like stopped trying to switch with front feeble. And um, while the lights were like waiting to cool off so you can pack them and get going, right? Right. I, w- I healed, I healed back, lift a rail a while ago and was like, yo, like this would actually maybe be like a good heel back lift. So mm-hmm. I was still like, I was young, right? So I was just, he's Stanfield, like light this back up maybe. And I tried a couple of heel back lips on those benches to lock in. And I, dude, I locked into three backsmiths in a row. You're like, <laughs> you're like okay, this is it. <laughs> So yeah, I was like, hey, like, it turn the lights a, back it on. And, perfectly, bro. but you oh, had so never you, done that trick before, though. Before, no, that. but that dude, that was a battle. Oh, <laughs> that was a battle. <laughs> so you were done skating. You tried that trick. Lights came <clears throat> fucking back on, dude. But no, I probably only tried for like half an hour. Like I switched front feeble. Did I don't know why that trick works for me? Hmm. Like pretty quick, and then I tried to switch with front feeble, which is like. I don't know why I didn't even like switch foot front board it. Like that was more scary to me. Switch foot front board. Okay. This I, is the, ne- I still haven't switched foot front boarded a real rail, which is kind of tweaked. A real rail. You've done like at the skate park though. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But like not a street rail. Yeah. This for me is the scariest thing with the flashes going off at night skating nah. a rail. You love. No chance. Dude, <laughs> what do you mean? You lo- No. And I, I give you a prime example of why that was motivating to me at the time. Go ahead. Rodrigo Texera in the firm. Oh, mm. Switch the front board? Mm-hmm. Is that what he or he did switch front board shove. He uh he did a few things. I remember he hard flipped down the four block in oh where Snoop lives in Chino. Okay. And there's just flashes going on. Dude, like that era was So like, you equated that with you're skating that thing and you're like, this is just like Rodrigo TX. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. And not like that's inc- yeah. No, but that's incredible. Pretty much, yeah. Because that, that the flashes at night, just especially a sequence, is the most horrible thing in my opinion. Like, but you actually took it as a positive. Were you I just I was the footage was going to be worth it to me yeah, because it that, was it was aesthetic wise. You were yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not, yeah 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 yeah. Not, totally. You're like I don't care about seeing anything. I just want the footage to come out looking like that. Right. Exactly. I mean, to me, it's like a hope and a prayer at that point. You got these flashes in your eyes going off, and you're like, oh, this is a. Well, the good Go thing is it. that's why it, there is light there already for sure yeah. a little bit. And right there, it looks like, did you guys even light it up on that one? It's just the normal yeah, lights. It seem lit. No, it, it wasn't lit, but it, I remember 
I, I think it's just the VX, man. Like, it, it, you know, you know when you can see and the camera is darker than it makes it look. Right. Yeah. I think that's like one of those times because it, it wasn't, it didn't bother me. Huh. Crazy. You guys know where that trick came from? Huh. Where? Mm-mm. The French Chef Feeble. Yeah. Where, where did, I've never seen you do that trick other than that, I feel like. Who, who do you get the inspiration yeah. from to do so? Switch for a flip. French Chef Feeble? Front Chef. I would say Manny Santiago, but he wasn't around back then. Uh-uh. I don't know. Same it's, with like I'm not. I'm just gonna put it out there. Like please. a lot of those, like the heel front lip. I think I I told you guys who I took that one from. Well, like LD or something? No, no, that was from PJ. PJ, PJ. Ladd did one at Tampa Am. First try. I don't even think it got recorded. He did it first try on a bump to bar, and I've never seen anybody do it. And I was like, well, fuck, if he's not going to, you know, jump down a rail and <laughs> sure. do it like I did at the barracks, right? But that, the front chef feeble, you guys should know this, Rick Howard, oh, yes. gold angled rail. Yes, you're right. Oh, that's right. That's well, right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, I thought that was 50. Wasn't that 50 50? Didn't you do front shot 50 The yeah, angle it was crazy. It might have tipped over a little bit because that was that fat rail. That fat the fat rail, one. The fat gold It was rail. a Hewlett Packard. It was the one. little one. The no, little. it was the one guy did switch back nose grind revert on. Yep. Oh, the Hewlett yeah. Packard yeah. rail. Yes. yes. Yeah, he did. See, do I don't know was the name it? I thought it was, was 50-50. It's, it's like fucking... No, no, he it's did It's small. That. Yeah. Rudy... Who cares? No, 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 no. He did 50 50. Didn't, uh, I thought it was a front show. No, 50 50. Shiloh that's did. I'm going to go back and look. Yeah, back. Shiloh <laughs> back three lip. lip. Yep. Yeah. Back three lip? Oh, yes, yeah. he did. Yes. It's like and super- switch front three. We're going to go fact check that way. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I believe you, but I could have sworn. I, I remember it 50 50. I so remember it 50 50. Back 50. Too. Huh. Hey, I saw that you skated the LA High when they he put it back. It. He analyzed it. When he put it back in, though. How was that rail when you, because you did the pop shove a crooked grind. Did it like feel the same or was it like lower? The whole, the whole thing felt great. So yeah. <laughs> did it. I don't know. It, the, the vibes, man, it, it brought me back because that time when I was skating this rail was different. You know, it was just a different age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, that was a hot spot, dude. Jeez. It was, Um, I don't remember it being like, obviously, besides the obvious, it was wider. It yeah i think it was a little i think it was a little taller to be honest but like not even not noticeably much huh. just it, it might have just been the bar being bigger yeah. that it was made it seem bigger yeah. maybe i'm just freaking older mm-hmm. I, I i remember tr- i skated it a couple times um i always thought it'd be weird with that pillar there but that pillar doesn't do anything to you no, I feel the same way that's the way i looked at that that's why i really never did anything mm-hmm. on that thing really yeah, yeah. I, for some I've reason smacked- for some odd reason, even though I know everybody would murder that thing and just, yeah. I, I, I got myself to try it one time just to board slide. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, wow, this is, this that thing's chill, dude. Yeah. And then. Still. I've smoked my hand on the wall a couple times, but like f- trying stupid shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like me and Trap used to go there all the, like with Stanfield on that trip. It's not sick to like say, but like we would seriously bring like a case of beer there and just session it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, mm-hmm. like I if that thing was still around, I would I still have a lot of tricks for it. It's Damn, so perfect. Man. It's so fun. You know, this like the bricks make it look so sick. It's and it's just iconic. It's yeah, just one of those spots, so, man. Definitely, it's like oh, we got to go to LA High. We're in town, right? Like oh, the funny story about the uh, French of Feeble is I learned that trick on the flat bar in Vancouver on the night before I went to LA. Oh wow! And I was trying to do front shove five zero on the ledge because I liked that trick. I thought it was cool looking, and it kept going into feeble. And then I learned it on the flat bar. Went there the next night when I got to LA, and before I landed that, I had never done a big spin board slide. Okay. And I kept getting into big spin board slides and kicking it out. And I was like, well, <laughs> I might as well land one right if I ever get into <laughs> yeah. it. So. But Kelly, you've been, we skated that one rail in Atlanta that I big spin board Oh, slid. that's right. And you know, he'll no slid it. Yeah, dude. Wow. I mean, but, that thing was kind of steep. I remember that. Which which rail was that, that in Atlanta? That it, it was like this random outskirts rail that was at some abandoned school. 
Huh. Dude, didn't we drive like an hour to get to that thing? Like you know, it was like super far out there, and then we went there, and it's just like we have no idea what we're going to. We're like, wow, this rail's <laughs> really it was like a perfect eight star rail, but no one had really skated it. Um Justin uh Justin skated it. Um on Brock. real. Yeah, Justin yeah, Brock. Yeah. I don't know why I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh Justin Brock, like Nolly nose grinded, I think. Hmm. Nolly but yeah. nose grind, Nolly from Feeble. Yeah. Okay. Dude, you Nolly Hill freaking knows that you beat. Dude, you dude. Nolly Hill knows Nolly Hill. I, I don't know. Me, me and Wade were oh, you know who else was skating it was Jack. Jack Curtin. Amazing. Jack, no, not that day. He was there that day. He was trying. He wasn't he was, skating it that day. He was flinging I, some stuff, but he never worked anything out. Mm-hmm. He was trying I like switchback five zero or something. I wanted to say like yeah, like a switchback something, switchback overcook or switchback where, Smith or something. Where's the footy at for this cat? I mine was in my LRG part. I don't. Did you use never yours? Came out. Yeah, Wade hated it for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> I think they used the clip of me like throwing my board at that spot though, like snapping. Cause it had Wu Tang grit. <laughs> I love I love Wade Amazing. because like even in this clip right here with, at Mac Buff, awesome. it's like oh yeah, what was like, what was wrong? <laughs> what, was, what was wrong with that? I fell was it out the of little, it. The little the uh, little. I fell out. I didn't pop, you didn't out. pop out. Oh, so you kind of just came out, not like snap out. I didn't snap out. I fell out. Look at that. That's oh, even when you slow them out, it's worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, right. That was buttery. I do it. No one even seen that trick then. People were like, "What?" And but you didn't do it again. No, because right around that time, Marty Murawski started flipping in and out and shoving out and. Oh, Marty so. oh, my, my. oh yeah, he did song. like he did the he shove did out in the middle, bus. right yeah, over yeah. the top. For sure. Yeah, he did that Ooh, in film bot files, and then right. he like started flipping out like. That's dude, he's, right. and Marty's the homie, so. Yeah, he's amazing. Dude. Yeah, great dude. Um, okay, here's the one. Uh, here's here's a here's a pop out. Here's a pop out. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. This one, I think that's a pop out. Yeah. Right? That's, <laughs> that's what like you were shifty. That's what you're going for. It's a good follow. That's what you're going for. Jeez. I mean, if you want me to nitpick, I wish I grinded further. That's, oh come on, dude, that was so for real. I but mean, that, that spot's perfect though. Super perfect. Where's that? North Carolina. Yeah. But dude, like Shout the, out the champion. It the 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 metal ends right there. How could you grind no, it further? Doesn't. It looks Maybe like I it just... ends right there. Mm-mm. It does end at one certain point, look, right? Yeah. No, that's just the light, dude. It keeps going. Oh, does it? Oh yeah. Look it at that. Like oh, I think ends. you're right. Actually, it looks like it keeps going. Okay. It's the light, man. Huh? It looks like it ends right there. Because it looks like it it starts right there, right? I think it does start, dude. That thing's long. Oh, is and it? It's, okay. It's so that thing's fun. I love it because like that pop out. Yeah, it's probably the gnarliest pop out out of a like the only maybe person that could come close is like Mike Mo on a pop out, right? Dude, like Yuri Ficini can do that really hot gnarly yeah, too. I'm just saying, like yeah. in the time period, oh, right? Like, in that time period? Yeah. yeah. That was a fluke. That was another one of the like I blacked out riding away. <laughs> Here we go. Like, shit. <laughs> Why, like it happened quick or something or what? I can't really it wasn't long it was just like i remember just being like not doing like a bunch of switch foot 50s because like i would that's why i never skated Man. manis for so long because i hated like getting into a trick and then like putting it down uh, and then like i don't know i remember i wasn't getting close for literally like five tries and then i don't know or just riding away like wow is that it Dude, like shit. that's the best right? i mean that that's one of my favorite clips of you ever and plus the like, in your dj that, that, that happens a lot to me, to be honest. I the go, music, I though, the music, though, at that point, I just remember being like, what, dude? Like, everything about that whole clip was so good. So let me ask you a question. You were you were nitpicking right there. Were you doing the same when you watched the clip back after you did it? Were you like, oh, man, I wish I would have grinded longer or whatever? Like, you were fine with it back then. I don't – I tell my filmers, like, especially nowadays, um, uh, don't send me the clip. <laughs> You don't even want to watch a clip. You're going by only feel. No, because if I have the clip on my phone, I'll find a problem with it. Well, what about just watching it there after you, you know, you have a little viewing party right there. Like, oh, did I, how did I do that? Okay. Let me, let me check the footy real quick. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm glad it turned out like that. I'm glad that's the one that was in a video instead of some other option, but it could have been done better. Yeah. (laughs) 
I know what you're it saying. Could have been though. done worse. Could have been done worse. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't That's, know. I'm, I'm happy. I'm that. happy yeah. with that. I'm satisfied with that. Right. Yeah. yeah. The you know only I mean? thing you're That's saying the- is you wish you would have grinded longer. Yeah, because if it right. wasn't slow mode, it fucking is a tap. I'll accept that shit. Straight the fuck out. But it's just the way that you yeah. popped out. Nobody. Yeah, that pop out. Nobody was doing that, bro. Appreciate it. For yeah, real. That's good. That's the first time I've ever heard you say, I'll accept that. I, it's awesome. I mean, you are, <laughs> you are very critical of your own clips, right? Why, yeah. though? I, think I mean, that's what like, pushes you. I think that pushes you as a skateboarder. I mean, you know? we're all our own worst critic for sure, you know? But I think there comes a point in time where I'm just like, fuck, I'll take any clip I can get right yeah. now. Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. bro. I don't believe that at all. All your footage, all you guys, is. I'm pretty sure you guys went over it and looked at it a million different oh. ways and analyzed it. Trust me. I'm. Um, yes, to a degree. But I, there's some things. I definitely get what you're saying, for sure. And there's no way I wouldn't without being a skateboarder but at the same time like you know sometimes you 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 land stuff and you're just like dude you know what i worked hard for that and i'm gonna take that Mm. and then i'm gonna walk away yeah sure and i've done that many a time you know and i definitely wasn't the most happy yes i could have done it way better Mm. way better i I know that for sure yeah but you know what i put my time in and i got what i got and sometimes (laughs) you're not there for a long time this is true too like you gotta leave the next day or something you're like i can't come back here like sure you're gonna you're out of town or Or it's like on a sunday and you can't come back for the next week and you're like i've I've come back here like three times Mm -hmm. already like i'll just take that one i'm not gonna come back next weekend so many yeah. little aspects. It's not, for, it's not for everything. It's just like this: these slim okay. little few. I'll, I'll, I'll accept I, it. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say this: I bet you your favorite clips, every single one of you guys, that a normal person could not pick them out. Just like me, like my favorite clip of myself. If I really thought about it, mm-hmm. nobody would be able to pick it out. Right. They think it's something else. They think it's like either this, like this one's popular. When this thing gets reposted, people hit me up about this. Right. The front side flip over the alley oop over the rail in Vancouver. People go nuts over that. It's mm-hmm. that was not important. Right. Like not important, but like right. that wasn't hard. That was in under ten tries. Right. I, it might have been the filming. It might have been this, but that's not. I don't know. That doesn't stick out for me as like a memorable moment yeah. skating. Yeah. Like, what's your favorite trick you've ever done I got, besides the one playing in the background? So I got, and this one just turned into a joke on the show. It wasn't even like my favorite trick, right? <laughs> yeah. It just turned into this joke, right? MJ brought that iPad. God bless him. So I have one, Wade. I have one. Hot chocolate okay. tour, right? I nollie heel flipped off a bump over a barrier, oh, over yeah. the yeah. Uh, little barrier thing. To me, that's your last trick. That was my last trick. To me, that was the trick that I worked hard for. I love that clip, man. Richard Mulder was there, just the surroundings, everything. I nolly heel flipped over this barrier and like, it was like my God, it was the the God awful truth, my last attempt. I was done. Mm -hmm. And I just, I blacked out. I did it. It You know what I mean? But Hot Chocolate Tour, everybody always said, oh, nolly nolly kick flip shove it over the beach block. Oh, yeah. That's only I. I would hear oh, yeah. that all the time, oh, yeah. and I'm like, "Well, what about the, the <laughs> nollie heel over the bed? Like that was yeah. a nollie heel. Like yeah. the line though worked well together. That's why, like that clip. What was that? But nobody that? said anything about the nollie heel. Yeah. Everybody would always. Did you do it? Yeah. What'd you do after the nollie? It's like nose grind pop out nollie vario flip tray flip. tray flip. That's yes, that's weird. That reminds me. How did you do a tray flip off the nose? Dude, I I, I love that way to ask these true. questions because he notices that stuff. Yeah, I yeah, was, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a to, fucking, I'm a nerd. Like, I'm a skate nerd to the core. I didn't even trip that, but now that you said that, that's true, dude. No, because, because usually, yeah, because not only can flip shove it, I, I definitely would not use my tail. That's the nose. Plus, you're doing sure. nose grind before, and, nose and grind. then you're doing yeah, not yeah. you're skating nollie right. right after. You're already skating the shit back. I think yeah. I was just so happy. <laughs> I think I was just so happy that I did the nollie kick flip shove over the. I was just like, I'm gonna just throw this out there. Dude, Amazing. you hammered that one. Like sometimes you just do that. If you had a trick, you're just like there. Like I'm just gonna try. I don't care which way my board is. I mean, I think yeah. I went to. I think I went to the sand gap and tried to nollie heel it. I think. Oh after wow. After that, but I was on my tail. <laughs> that was gonna work. Right? I mean, you like, dude. Some people don't even 
think of that though like you that obviously didn't even register you just tray flipped you just did it right. you didn't think mm-hmm. about it i sure. will think i think about that but like, wait, i'm in my head like that back then which isn't good for but, real for back then i'm not first of all i'm not going to turn around i'm not just going to do a, a turn to go back to regular you know what I mean? Or like turn my board around or yeah. do like a, a shove it or a something. shove it or, yeah. you know, th- that time period, you're not doing that. Right. Right. Yeah, sometimes you so, just deal with it. Yeah. I don't, I think the way the first time I met Wade, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Not turn around, but shove it. Totally. Yeah, we were in Barcy. Totally. Right. No, well the first time, no, I, I met you at KU. you the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, the, no, I met you in Barcelona. No, me? Yeah, the I first met you trip at... was in, no, nah, because we were in Barcy together, because that was the first time I ever met with Shani, and I remember skating back to, like, our Airbnb, our, like, our rooms, basically, yeah. and you were so juiced, and you had gotten there earlier, and it was the first time I ever saw you skate, and you were skating flat, and I was all jet-legged and shit, oh. and you weren't, and you were doing, like, dude, you had brown excels, fucking, like, I was... doing, tray, doing tray flips on flat, going back to the, the apartment, and I was like, Dude, this kid doesn't fucking miss. Oh. <laughs> like knee high trays and nolly heels and nolly flips and switch flips. I'm like, I don't know if I belong here. That's man. right. Like, this, actually, I remember this might that. not be like in my cards to like be doing this. But when I when we had the our the footage in the gold video, the gold wheels you, video, you had I, footage so I had footage video. in there. I, I, about, that was before you got on. But he looked at me. He goes, "There's a line of me. I do a switch flip, a fakie tray, and then I turn around without." turning with my board <laughs> i just do like a switch and he's like how what's going on here dude well you skated off your your nose and then you're skating off your like what what are you doing and he was i was like never heard anyone ask me that question Well, because before. you skated off your nose at the time i do what i did back then i oh yeah i only skated off right. my nose but i did a switch flip off my nose and then a fakie tray off my tail which i would never do but i sacrificed <laughs> it for that for the line that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you didn't want to do the shove it or the yeah. thing. You you wanted to just back to back tricks. But you just all I did was just do a little little push real quick. Like you switch your front, your left foot to yeah, your right. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, but change up the stance real quick. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Like, <laughs> you know, listen, we we got a, we got tray flips. We got we got way tray flips. This is know? that trip you're talking oh, about. <laughs> okay. P- fuck. Perfect. <laughs> oh. No, perfect. Kelly, were you? I Kelly was there was that day. I watched it. I was oh. like, oh my God. Do you remember what I was so hyped on in this line? Uh, the tray fl- or the Nolly 5 0? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't Nolly back 5 0. At least I couldn't at the time. And I I don't know. That was that was what was important for me. I was They were working and I was in. Yeah, I jibbed it too, but whatever. Tailed in touch. Cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so sick. Dude, I remember but watching dude, that this. Was, that was everything for me. Isn't that funny? And that's what goes back to saying, like the things that mean the most to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Nobody, I would have never said yeah, over Nolly Back 5 That's like, That's at least top three in my entire career. That's amazing. Yeah, I've never seen Everybody that. Bugging out, everybody's bugging out on the tray flip and like yeah. the fucking kick flip back five. Back five but, uh, nose, grind. nose grind? Yeah. I don't even know if I was trying nose grind or cook. I didn't, I didn't care. At that either point, way, right? Either oh, Dono was tripping. He's like, way. "Yeah, he he did a nose grind. He was trying to crook, but he went to nose grind." So I was like, "Yeah, I, I don't need, care, dude." Kick foot back nose grinds. What I was doing? Oh hell yeah! Kick foot back nose grinds even harder though. I think you got to get up and you got to get up and over. I uh, dude, I don't. I think you got to uh, get I, higher I'll up on the kick foot nose grind. Exactly. I'll definitely take take that tray flip too, though. Like oh. Dude, I'm down with that. I remember watching the best part about that trip was the crew we had and Carl Watson being there and Mm. we're all watching it. Carl, we all when we watched that tray flip, Carl, you know, you you know, Carl just goes nuts when he loves anything. Dude, it was so funny, man. But yeah, that tray flip, dude, it's that line worked out for me. Um, I'll thank skateboarding for that one. Someone hooked me up with that line. (laughs) I mean, it's a beautiful line, really. Yeah, beautiful line. It's just the lines that you, you know, wish and hope for you could do, you know, when you like somebody like me is like, if I could do a line like that, I'd be. Yeah. All smooth, solid like that. Be yeah. static, bro. Dude, and those, remember the board size we were riding back then? That was a seven, four, like. At least, right? <laughs> little, little, little guys. Got the small ventures on. You got the oh, yeah. 49 millimeters on or something. That's definitely 49. <laughs> wow, man. That's crazy. So crazy. Dude, good, good times. And being Barcelona, hands down, for me one of the one of the best places to skate. Yeah, dude, definitely. Yeah, I that's think what, like 
just first time out there just I don't know when I look at this line I'm not even looking at like what I'm doing I'm looking at like everything around it the the benches the way they look the everything that's going on overhead all the boards that are up there the people in the background the wood mm-hmm. benches going to it's such skate rat shit but like yeah. in a different way overseas where mm-hmm. that's their skate park mm-hmm. exactly. but you can film there yep which is man everyone there is always super cool and down with us and friendly it's it's the best but what was that your first place that you went to in Europe? No, I, no, yeah, no. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, was that the first place you've ever went to in Europe, Barcelona? For skating, yeah. For skating, okay. Yeah. Got you. Oh, maybe in your karate championship days, you probably went overseas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I went to Germany for the See? World Championship. Whoa! Oh, yeah, you, you brought home the gold, there bro. You go. <laughs> but that's the thing, though, is that was my first place that I went to that I ever it left the country. Of, and it's just like, kind of, it's it's such eye-opening and mind-blowing. I almost wish it was somewhere else, huh? What do you mean? Like a little setup trip, maybe? Like go to the UK where it's like, okay, you have sick looking spots, but it's kind of hard to skate. And then you like get the stepping stone to a Barcelona where everything's perfect. I see what you're saying. But for me, it was just kind of like, I've never left this country. I went out there. Everybody's kind of, you know, smoking joints and drinking beers and the cops are driving by. They're not giving a, you know, they're practically waving at the cops. You know, it was just this eye opening thing here in the States where like a cop spot. We're paranoid, you know, and it was just like, Especially at that time. And you're, yeah. yeah. And then like, there's two people fighting in the streets and the cop break, you go that way, you could get the hell out of here. You know, it's just like this thing. I was like, this is incredible, man. Like the cops don't care if you skate the spots either. And they're the best spots in the world. It was just an eye opening experience for me. They look, they look at skateboarding different over there. If you want to talk like an overall, yeah, for sure. I went back home to Ottawa and was seriously like, you know, Europe's got it figured out. Seriously. Yeah. Like every, like you see like eight year old kids going into the store, getting baguettes for dinner and like walking out with two bottles of wine. Yeah. And like the clerk's just like, yep, have a good one. Like yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Tell your parents. It's it's you know like, what I mean? Like sure. that would never fly back home. No. Like ever. No. But there's, there's less, there's more openness. There's less problems over there. Right. Siestas, like, mm, you know, they siestas. close a shop. Like that doesn't happen here in the States. They're real about no. the siestas. It doesn't happen in this, in Canada either. Right. Right. So, it's it's different man like i always said if if europe had or not europe if barcelona had um air conditioning and <laughs> and drying machines <laughs> I, i'd be there I'd, i would have moved there it's it's dude it's one of the best places. I, I always tell skaters man if you you have to if, sometime in your little skate career you got to go to barcelona it's like a must really? it's, it's made for skateboarding and it it's it's a culture out there skateboarding is a culture out there yeah. And uh, you ever been to Brazil? I have not. Personally. I have. Yeah. I, I've Definitely. always wanted yeah, to go. That, That's how I Couple think. Uh, I think I view Brazil in that manner. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's a culture out there. Skateboarding yeah. is a culture out there. It's, it's, it's a way of life. Right. You yeah. know, which is, and that's one thing I really noticed in Spain, actually. One of the first things that I really took to heart was like, no one judged each other. You know what I mean? It didn't matter what you did as a living, like for a living or how much money you made. It was just like, oh, I got to go to work. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. And then you'd meet up with them later. No one was like, oh, what do you do? Like, not a topic you know, people, of conversation. Yeah. Like, yeah. it didn't matter. It's like right. everyone, the job is, a job doesn't define you. Yeah. Out right. there. Like, and that's what kind of car do you right? That's how Something I felt like that, in yeah. Spain. Yeah. Right? Exactly. It's like they, they close it, they close up the shop to go home and take a siesta. They're not, at, they're, they're after the comfortable lifestyle. They just yeah. want to be comfortable and yeah. live their life. Yeah, that's it. You know, true. spread the wealth and like I'm sure there's rich. Totally. Dude, I remember that there, but for sure. And, until you get like pickpocketed. I remember you got pickpocketed that one time. <laughs> he, he raised his hand. Yeah, I was he got me good. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> So what he happened? Got right? yeah, we got good. Because Bar- scenarios. Barcelona is known. Yeah. Glorious, bro. I let them keep the money too when they gave my wallet back. Oh, wait, Bridges oh. got my wallet back. <laughs> wow. What, what what happened? Were you just walking down the street and No, I was waiting outside the uh our spot for Bridges to come. Bridges mm-hmm. was the filmer and photographer. Mm-hmm. And we're both from Ottawa. Like we it, that's weird trip. So Bridges and I, Canadian, met up with Kelly, Shani, Carl, and Adelmo. And Quim too. Quim showed up later, wow. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Wait, like, so 
we were going to the spot. I think you guys were already at the spot or on the metro or whatever. Anyways, yeah. he comes out and he's he, he's not out yet. And these two kids walk by. I'm having a cig. And they're like, oh, you got a cig? I'm like, I'm not giving you a cig. So I think I said no, whatever. Mm. And he's like, oh, you like soccer? You play soccer? I'm like, That's no, terrible. whatever. And then you know the one. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, did, I didn't know. I'm not like, we play hockey in Canada. Like, we don't fucking whatever. So the dude like starts doing the Olay thing, puts his arm around me. Does the Olay, starts kicking his feet, like, whatever. We smile. I'm like, yeah, that was sick. Cool, man. Like, Bridges comes down. Whatever. We start walking. They're walking this way. They're walking away slowly. I don't. I think nothing of it. Maybe about 20 paces, I don't feel my wallet hitting my pants, right? And I'm like, wait. I'm like, yo, Bridges, those fucking kids got me. Wow. He runs. Like, he takes off. <laughs> After these kids and yo, uh, Kelly knows this guy. Yeah, Kelly knows Bridges. Yeah, so we get up to them. They got my wallet. Bridges grabs my wallet. Two kids, probably literally like twelve to fourteen. Okay, wow. Damn. little kids, right? Two of them, not even dude, crossing the street, opening up my wallet, going through it. No, not a care in the world. Yes, yeah, so not giving a rat. Wow. Bridges grabs it. The kid picks up a brick. Bridges rips my board out of my hand. He's like, count it, count it, count it. Make sure it's all there. And I was like, I checked my, all my cards were there. And I was like, man, seriously, I had 20 euros in there. That's it. They deserve it. Like straight up. <laughs> like, like, they got you so good. That, like, uh, I was like, let them have it straight up. I was like. <laughs> wow. But there was no communication, right? Because they didn't speak fucking English. Sure. And we didn't yeah. speak. Uh, Spanish or, or Portuguese, or right? No, we're speaking Spanish. Yeah. Spanish. So that's what they do, though, man. They use that little soccer little thing. Yeah, yep. yep. Especially they get the people that are drunk. The oh, drunk. You're, you were sober. Bunch. You probably were sober. At maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Either way, this is what they do. And like the older, this, this they're, fuck. Who did this happen to? They're pros at it. Oh, they're yeah. so it's happened good. To a lot oh of yeah, they were. Yeah. Yeah. So, so many. Dude, people. that's the the. Uh, Pickpocket capital world. Yeah. Barcelona. yeah. Oh, I've seen it happen in, in front of my eyes, like on the Rambla, like some dude yeah, in, like, in the that? bushes at the restaurant. And he's like sneaking under to grab the purse and like, and a bunch of my friends have gotten, you know, they come up to you. Hey, yeah, buddy. Yeah, hey, buddy. They're, the they're, they're, they're hitting you on the stomach. They're doing, and then they, they don't even like the thing they do a lot of stuff. They don't like run away after. Okay. They, they no. get caught and they're like, oh shit, my bad. And they just like go somewhere else. Have you heard Oliver yes. Barton's? <laughs> story out there i was i was flying out the next day and oh then, d insane it, what happened to him after you no have you oliver Yo, barton oliver heard. barton story jaron you got to hear this story uh -uh, it's heard it. long short of it is Twisted. oliver barton camera bag you know huge you oh know you know God. these camera bags are big of course he went into a little little shop, little bodega thing to get a little whatever snack or yeah. whatever, put his camera bag down. Some other person comes in and is like, hey, can you get that thing up there? Whatever. And he reaches up, turns down to hand it to him. Bag's gone. Dude's gone. The guy throws his bag to another guy on a scooter oh. and it takes off. Wow. Something to that effect. It was wow. that quick where he reached up to grab something, bags gone. Where did you hear this from? from? From Oliver. Are you talking, are, is it a different story that you've heard? Are you, I, I think that's a different story. You're not talking about the Tiago time then. This, oh, was this is a different... way before Tiago. Wow. Yeah. Dude, the, you didn't hear about the one at Mokba? No. <laughs> so it's happened that to one, all. That one's even crazier. That one's recent. Okay. Right, well, no, this is this is back in the day yeah. when he lived down in Barcelona, and That's that dope. that Gnarly. quick boom okay, boom I was gone like, motorcycle. I was about to say, I was like, that sounds like an older story. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's old. But it that's that, in, that's insane. That quick though. What's a Dude, what's they, a Macba story? Oh my god! So I was flying out there for I think it was the they made a first testing video out of it, gotcha. right? Mm -hmm. But we didn't know what we were going. We all we knew is Tiago's on the team, and we have his pro board. We have his. We're oh, going to yeah. introduce his fucking board. Oh, that's right. So they went to Mokba the day before I was flying out the next the next day. So I would have been there the next day, two days from there. So they went to Mokba, announced it, had everybody with his boards. All he's taking photos, and he's shooting. He's he's got his two cameras. He's got his picture camera, and he's got a sequence camera. Because I think Merrick was trying something through the keyhole, or someone was skating it, right? And 
literally he's sitting on the ground shooting the keyhole and he's got his other camera in front of him like in between his legs he said he he took a shot put his camera down and the camera was gone and there was no one else around nobody gone and that was the camera that had um all the photos of like um tiago with his new board with like (sighs) The surprise, oh them handing gosh. it to him, all his boys there, because he was using the sequence camera and the picture camera was there with the memory cards. Mm. And it was like, they ended up, I don't know what ended up happening, because I remember the whole trip they were trying to track him down and he was dealing with some like sketchy dude that knew who had it, but oh, like, he was, he's just trying to get his memory like cards. It was, dude, it was super sketchy. That's how good Damn. they are though literally took a camera out of the man's lap mm-hmm. without even him knowing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's and, crazy. Yeah. And not seeing where he went. Right. Like that. It's That's insane. The cr- and then there's always a person like, oh, I know I can get it. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Like, and we'll get some money. Just, you're, you're just like, oh. as bad as that dude. Yeah. yeah. All right, bro. Yeah. 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 Oh, you got my that, laptop? We're going to hold you for hostage. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, when me and Ty went there, um, I think it was a, a bunch of people. We had to switch apartments. Mm-hmm. And when we were, they put us in the top apartment in Barcelona, top apartment with a little, like, um, you know, little balcony and whatever. First thing we did, we checked the sliding door. Lock doesn't work. And right away, nothing happened, but right away, me and Ty fixed the lock because in our minds, we're like, Oh, this is a setup. Oh, like yeah. Yeah. lock doesn't work. Sliding door right up on the roof. Come down the balcony, steal all your shit. Yeah. And so right away we fix a lock. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. it's just those things you start thinking about. Like, dude, we got to, okay, door doesn't lock. We got to fix it. You start looking around. You're, it's almost as this paranoia feeling. Totally. totally. It's bizarre. Yeah. But I mean, if we weren't ground zero and seeing it firsthand, cause we right. get it completely different than like a tourist. You know totally. what I mean? Like we see that shit and like, dude, at Mokba, they've, they start fights with each other. They'll fight each other in front of you to distract you. Yeah. So there are other boys behind you grabbing your stuff. Yep. God. They're so. breaking glass bottles and just doing so the whole thing. Yeah. Doing a show. That. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. That's why people wrap their bags around trees over there, like parallel and shit, you know? So it takes a little time to do so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go ahead, bro. <laughs> okay, what about this spot, bro? This is a, man, this DIY spot and these lines here. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh. hey, I, I pulled the U, Chris. What's that? Watch. See if you notice. Let me see. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to watch, but. You're not going to oh. watch. <laughs> you're not going to Oh, you did. Kelly, Kelly knows. Yeah, Kelly yeah, knows. yeah. You're, you're going off the nose and then you're doing, you're popping off the nose, too. Yep. Wait, yeah. right in that line? Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute, wait yeah. a minute, wait a minute. Wait Go a back. Minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, back wait. flip off the nose. Yeah. Wait, so why did you not want to do the shove it? I, I don't I don't know why these even ended up in the video, man, to be honest with you. This dude, is people talk skating. about these all the time. I, I know, and that's like I, <laughs> dude, that's like Stanfield being in Vancouver skating this like the plaza is right two blocks ahead of me right there. Mm. So we would just come here and be like, Oh yeah, there's some stuff there. Like, cool, let's just go fuck around. So um yeah, I Chris Roberts did. <laughs> and did the back tail and the nollie varial flip was for my boy six shout out six year old he said i had to do a nollie varial flip in a part so my the original line was back tail nollie varial flip and then i was also kind of doing an illegal shuffle where i would switch stances and i was switch healing the couch oh mm. so you just but went for the back you call that flip. the illegal shuffle i i don't like i don't yeah you can't really turn stances i get you i get you i did it a few times but i did you say it looks a little weird so it just it felt right for some reason but i had to do it because of my stance of my yeah board. if it flows and it feels right to you yeah you run this shit. yeah <laughs> every no matter where you come from there's always you got your own little pocket yeah, of rules, yeah right? for you everyone's personally. got their sure. own little stuff for sure. Sure. sure so why did you no doubt about that. opt i was to... too i was too close after the nollie varial flip like i don't i if you can see it, I, I think I like. Oh, you were too close to the couch. I did mm. the nollie varial flip in a different place. Like I landed the back tail weird, mm. in my opinion. And then I was like, just having fun, like kind of whatever. But I, I took a, yeah, I went through that puddle and I yeah. looked to see if he was still there. 
Oh. So then after that, I kind of like, I was like, ah, fuck it. You I'll didn't have enough it. time to, to, what was it? What was the line you said? Nolly, and then what did you do to, to, oh, you switched heel. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. And then that's why we did this after. Gotcha. I trip out. There's just a random tall flat bar there. Yeah. I don't know why that thing's, that's kind of, that only exists in BC. I've never seen that anywhere else in Canada. That's so funny that you thought the back tail was a little weird. Cause like you popped out of that pretty damn good yeah <laughs> it was for the back tail but i landed really on my nose good. oh your feet mm. your foot position yeah I that's why you. like i started up like i started uh riding bigger boards and i eventually got to an a25 of what i ride now but gotcha um, so that you landed on your nose okay yeah, well, like, i don't know still, i didn't even was, notice that. your body was still fully over your board yeah i get, you're, you, I get yeah, what but, you're saying i get what you're yeah, saying i didn't even you know notice the saying. front foot Definitely. your front foot was on the nose but yeah, the back foot was like where it should be but I think it's funny, Wade, because like what you say, you know how we feel the tricks and we, you, we know, let's do it again, let's do it again. But then yeah. sometimes that camera never captures what you think is wrong with it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, totally. It's like the cameraman was a little bit kind of to the, but I didn't even notice your front foot. You could see it a little bit now that you pointed out, but sometimes it's, sometimes it works out good. It's, it's good to have those other people in those positions that make those calls, right? Sure. Yeah. Because sure. I would have never let that footage. Same with the Nolly Vero foot, my, the way my back foot landed and it's, well, whatever. Huh. I like the fact that it was totally just, oh, I'm too close to the couch. I'll backside yeah. flip yeah. it. For sure. But like, that's why after I landed, I'm like, whatever, <laughs> that worked. Like, I could seriously try that backside flip a million more times off the nose and it wouldn't even work that way. Right. Like, I don't know how that worked. Oh, that's amazing. That. Still to that. this day, like I could try, I've tried kickflips off my nose recently just to like see, like our friend rides his board backwards and we always roast him. And, <laughs> you yeah. pimped that out, bro. Like, really, yeah, it didn't even like, it didn't even seem like it phased you. You just like, I'm doing this, did it. Boom. I got, I didn't even notice. No, and you just wing it. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, but you would have never noticed that if, if I didn't tell you either. I course. didn't even no, notice no, in no, my, right. I didn't even right. notice in my line right. Right. that I did it off the tail, off the nose or uh, whatever tail. Yeah. Tray flip off well, the I think nose. the hardest part when you ride a board backwards, like is not just the size of the nose or tail, but your, your trucks at mm -hmm. that time, my truck, I mean, still to this day, my front truck and my back truck are different. a whole different yeah. scenario. If yeah, I did a tray sure. flip off my nose, I, really? I it feels way freaking different. Like, See, I never understood the people that ride a looser front truck and a tighter back truck. Mm -hmm. I don't. That's Chris I Cole, right? Chris Cole is like that. Is I he, thought it was one, day one. One truck, one truck is really tight and one truck is loose. It's a little looser in the a front. A little looser. Yeah. Doesn't day, day one, one do that? Well, day he has one, like no one's bushing. Just, day one's just, just next level. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> day one doesn't even have bushings. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> he has little metal pieces as bushings. Oh, my God. That guy's <laughs> trucks and he's crazy. Jeez. Fun yeah. spot though. Look, it looks like a cool spot to skate. A little setup, a little DIY. Mm -hmm. Dude, cool. even looking at it now, like all that shit in the background, like the the like, <laughs> like a <laughs> fucking bump. booter over the, a fucking the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that was my like that's my introduction to like the real skate world. <laughs> that, like literally, that was my first part. Holy shit! <laughs> Amazing, dude. For yeah. a company, anyway. Sure. Wow. Yeah, sure. I felt like that video was. Special in my eyes, not because I was in it, but I felt like you and Kenny were like the ones that really shined in that thing, and I was really cool, man. I, I you guys part stand out. Part of it, yeah. Like to be honest, I was a little kid from, still am from fucking Ottawa, like some random little place. It was just finally sick to like, not finally sick, but like it was, dude, it's so memorable, to, memorable to, at least for at the premiere to share a screen and a video with fucking Stevie and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like every Carl, everybody, man. Was, Shani and Richard, and wow. yeah, yeah, every every section was had legends, and it's surreal, wow. surreal. Yeah, yeah it's we, crazy. We were just talking about that on the Experience Show the other the other week. Was uh, just going on tour with you know Eric Costin and Gino and having yeah. coffee with these guys, and you, you you were like, what is going on here? Like you can't even. <laughs> You're like nervous to even say good morning to them. Like <laughs> that's the different part that people don't really understand. That like they're like, dude, you get to skate with these fucking guys, and it's like the only time I fan out or like got weird was like the next morning when you wake up sharing a hotel room with these guys, <laughs> or are you going to breakfast with them, and you're like, these are the fucking legends, bro. Like, <laughs> what the hell? 
Yeah. You know, like skating, you know they can skate, but you don't know how they act outside of it. Exactly. Yeah, and sure. you're scared not to kook it or say something weird yeah. to turn them off. Mm -hmm. Like, Costin, you getting pancakes or uh, waffles, man? <laughs> yeah. like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gluten-free, bro. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry, man. I'm gluten-free, dude. I should have said... I should have said uh, granola, man. Yeah. God damn. And you start playing I should have known that. Head. I should have known he was granola, known that, dude. dude. He, he eats <laughs> fruit yogurt, for, man. Yeah. He eats fruit for breakfast, man. And I said, I said pancakes. Damn it. You know, it's damn like, it, Chris. You're stupid. You know what I mean? Like, like you start. Oh, dude, a hundred, a hundred percent. It's a weird I remember thing, I turned man. down smoking weed with like some people on the team. And I, I remember just being like, fuck, should I just hit that? And then just. <laughs> You know, Peer rock pressure, out. Dude. Did I miss yeah. out. You know what I mean? Did like, I, I wonder out? if I wonder if they think I'm a fucking I'm a like a like not a simp, but a I wonder square. If fucking, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> I need to get extra drunk tonight when we go to the bar. <laughs> I gotta make up for this. Yeah. I gotta make yeah, up no, for no, this, no, man. No, no, no. I, I, sure. But yeah. it's funny. It's a, those are the it, thoughts, though. Really, yeah, it yeah. is though. It is. It's a weird fucking thought process, man. Mm -hmm. That dude, you see these guys, you idolize them for so long, and then. No, maybe not even idolize, but you're such a fan of their work. Yeah, yeah. That. Right. Yeah, at that point, you got your way there because of your skateboarding. Now your personality's got to kick in, mm -hmm. and that's how you got to vibe with these guys. And that, to be honest, almost is the hardest part. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I was just about to say it's almost just like getting in the van yeah. and like yeah. letting these guys. Okay, where's Eric going to sit? I'll just stay over here and then I'll just take whatever is left. And, you know, you don't want to jump in there and grab right. well, guy's like, seat or yeah. something and guys <laughs> bummed at you. You know, well, you're like, a lot of skateboarders really are right. A lot of skateboarders are really quiet, especially I was a really shy kid. So the hardest part was me is to open up right. and to meet these people, right. you know, mm -hmm. and not only just meet these people. These are your favorite skaters in the world. So that's what I mean by hard. Not like to vibe with them, but to open out of your shell yeah. and be like, all right, man, I got to I gotta grow up right now, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got to put on my big boy pants. Yeah, dude. Got to talk. You guys had it the hardest, though. Like, Kelly, we had it pretty good. Like, I could, we never had like a van per se that we could like all get picked up and go to the spots. Mm -hmm. You know, like you guys had that family vibe before anybody had it for sure yeah. you guys so, definitely had it but at that point jerron was already boys with everyone sure. chris probably had it closer to what we had where he's yeah. like i had to come yeah, in and yeah. just be like very fuck man navigate yeah. at a you know it just i had mine then, early, i had mine early on early on and then after like you know i was already on for a couple of years i'm like Psh, whoever's coming by and but there was nobody coming behind us for quite some time you know yeah. dude, yeah. Yeah. me no and way. robbie right. were like the first robbie was yeah. the first dude on girl after yeah. a long time yeah. and then on chocolate i was the first dude to come along yeah even longer than girl for sure dude that was so. not the next person after you was like ld right yeah Dude, that's a cute. It was a huge, huge man. Wow. Yeah, big, big gap, huge yeah. gap. Yeah. So yeah, going on those tours with all these dudes was just. It was. It was. Um. It was borderline frightening. You know what I mean? In the best way. In the best way, yeah. but I don't want to mess things up, man. I don't want to take guys. Yeah, seat. but I don't want to tell Eric Costin that he's gluten free and he ordered waffles or you know like I just. <laughs> hey, that, what Wade brought up a good point though is that. Dude, when we have you have someone behind you and you're having to meet these guys, that's a lot of pressure, dude. When you got like the little kid coming, I remember Spencer coming through and Kenny Hoyle. I was like, oh shit, this is gnarly. Mm. This is like, and then you got to try to prove yourself skate wise, but you have these kids already getting gnarly. Mm -hmm. It's that's a different thing. And you guys didn't have that really. Mm -mm. So, what do you mean the oh kids behind kids, us? Yeah, because you said you had a big span of no one on chocolate. Right, you know, right. I don't know what would be, dude. I don't. That's gnarly though, because you had so much to, you had such big shoes to fill. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Oh, th yeah. Those that what Chris did. Yes. Yo, at that time yes. too, it was like the listen video. That's all the that I had. Amazing video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, wish I appreciate that. Somebody needs that. to put that back out, man. That was one of my favorite videos. Yeah. You shine in that video. Thank you, bro. Sure. I appreciate that. That's the first time I ever seen. That might have been your first stuff, though, right? That was mm -hmm. pretty much my introduction Definitely. to. I mean, I was flow by chocolate. Wasn't even on the team yet. Probably hadn't even gone on any tours yet. But kind of knew, is, like, right? kind of skated with the guys here and there because it was courthouse and this and that. Yeah, it was you're like, definitely around. It was around, yeah. but then actually to go on tour and now 
sharing a hotel room with these guys and in the mm-hmm. van, just like we were talking about before, it was like, God, it was like frightening, bro. I'm mm-hmm. like, now they can really see who I am yeah. and kick me off. For you sure. know, like, <laughs> Jesus. It means a There's lot, man. Also- your personality, you know, it coincides with your skateboarding, you know? It's, man, back then, people will never experience that, I don't think, nowadays, especially with like social media. They can mm-hmm. kind of be whoever the hell they want. Exactly. But like, man, like, I remember going to spots and being like, not not like I never thought this way, but I've heard it and people being like, fuck, dude, like, I really want to skate it, but what's his face is here and I don't like my tricks harder and like, I don't want to fucking land it. And then, oh, I like did mm. better than the big dude. Oh, so like, yeah. I, I want to get my shine on, but like, you can't shine that much. You can't outshine mm-hmm. the this, big dog. This dude's thirsty. Mm-hmm. You know what I, yeah. And then you become the thirsty bro. Yeah. You know? It, and then it, that puts you into a fucking, I guess, purgatory almost, you know? <laughs> so you got to rip, you got to prove yourself, but you can't. Can't go that. too hard. You can't go yeah, too hard, but like, you got to do some. You don't necessarily need to, do, need to do it at the same time. Just hold up and wait a minute until these dudes are not here. <laughs> you could. <laughs> yeah. but, but especially on a tour, though, when for you're sure. only skating one yeah, gap for one yeah, city. That's true. You that's can true. do that, though, that's but true. you have to do it the right way. You yeah. can get out of the car, chill, talk, hang out, warm up, but not like run out of the car and just do the hardest trick. You're like, oh, Stevie Williams watching me. I'm going to do the hardest thing right now. Yeah, but if you sure. hang out for a little while, do whatever, and then Stevie eventually sees you do it, he'll be like, oh, that was tight. Well, I'll tell you right. this right you know? now. And, oh. Uh, oh, we got a light that burnt out. We keep the show going, though, Wade. We keep the there show go. going. There we go. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to look more pale. Raj. Um, so... <laughs> but I'll tell you what, there are those times too when we would go on tours and we'd bring along the flow kids sure. or whoever, and it would kind of be this, you know, like this guy's third, like, mm-hmm. what is this guy doing? You mm-hmm. know, and it kind of blew it for no him. Doubt. I've you know? definitely been in a couple of those sessions for sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's, w- I ain't gonna see, say, but like, no, I guess, no, 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 for sure. Yeah, there definitely, that, that comes that moment, but yeah. No one's gonna, gotta deal with that anymore. No. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, I don't think that's ever gonna happen anymore because by the time someone's good enough to even get with a team, right? It's already proven how they fucking skate. You True. know, like, it's, mm-hmm. it's just whether you can mesh with them or not. Exactly. <sighs> it's a big part of a, a team. Definitely. Definitely. meshing for sure you know. that's what a team is it's they very, work together it's very you know? interesting though that that dynamic you know of mm-hmm. that kid coming up and wanting to fit in and waffles versus pancakes and granola and you, you, you think about everything at least i did that's what makes skateboarding awesome though everything about the journey and the industry is so sick because of those little like intricacies and yeah. little things you know like those memories that you have oh, in man. certain instances like that we all have that no one will ever know, but like it's our memories is like, dude, that's special, man, you know? Dude, totally, man. Definitely. For sure. Many, many great times, bro, out in the road and stuff. Those are my fondest memories, you know, traveling the world, definitely the perk of skateboarding. Never would have done it if it wasn't mm-hmm. for skateboarding, but it's also the the tours in this country that yeah. would cross country tours and being in the van with York and Daniel in the back mm-hmm. or LD and Gino and man, it's just... Such great times, man. Yeah, those man. times are so rad, bro. It's insane. Anyway, this is not about us, bro. This is about Wade Disarm, <laughs> man. Um, what other clips got, Chris? Well, I, I love this clip. We were watching this before, the, the switch frontside flip into the bank. Ooh. No. You, no, 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 Wade, <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, what are you saying? No. Oh, you guys. That was go. beautiful. You pick all the wrong stuff. <laughs> I, I mean, mean we I, could don't, have, I don't think we could have picked any right. Yeah, things. I don't. I don't, I don't. <laughs> Wait, I mean that's a little that out was, of your not not out of your range, but I never saw you do tricks like that. Like that thing's oh, pretty gnarly. Beautiful, man. All right, so let's let's guess what's what wrong with like. it. Let's guess what he did not like about this. So there's two really bad things. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you? Ooh. That tic tac. Uh, right right tic tac. Okay, okay, I see that. Okay. Didn't see it oh, until I played it in slow motion. Uh, Freaking, what are those thing called? Not marionette, but the puppet. The puppet. Yeah, the just like holding my holding my hand up like for some reason. But that. Oh, um, that, that right there. 
bro, to yeah, me, that was just like, up. yo, I did it. I'm me. That's the style. Right You're writing it out, dude. You're writing it out. That's like some MJ or Gino shit. You know, when they land the trick and their arm goes in front of their face like that, you know, it's like the. Was Gallant there? I'm trying to remember if that, if Gallant was there that day. I don't know. That, that Kenny was probably there. That's a weird one because right after I went through ankle surgery, I didn't skate for a year and a half. Oh. And then Kelly remembers that. Mm -hmm. And then I started skating for like six months and tore my meniscus and literally was out for, I think a month, a month or two, no, a month and a week maybe. Before this. And then, yeah, like, Dude, this is in. I, yeah. So I started skating again, skated flat for a week. And then I talked to my team manager and he was like, Oh, you're skating again? Cool. We're getting you a flight. And that was literally like a week and a month, like a week after I started skating again from the knee fucking surgery. It was wow. Wow, dude. That's yeah. quick. That's to skate that spot, especially. Hmm. Dude, yeah, but I just don't. to be flown down after like a week of certain, that's a little much. Thank you, it Raj. Was, Thanks, Raj. Lights, it wasn't. back on. Yeah, it wasn't my, um, yeah, I didn't appreciate it. Yeah, you got a <laughs> clip though. I mean, <laughs> to get a clip like that. That was random because I was with those other two dudes on Expedition and I forget their fucking names. Um, One of the kid almost, no, that kid in the background. Wearing the green shirt. He was getting flow. I can't. I don't know. At, after after the, oh, on the oh, landing. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to see uh, who it was. Who is who? that? Who? That's it was a, Walker's that's boys. Two of Walker's boys. Was that he Ryan? Almost, Ryan. Uh, Ryan makes sense. Ryan Harris? It yeah. looks like Ryan. Yeah. He well, was he, was he was gnarly. He was super gnarly. He, he almost gnarly and were healed it that day. Damn. So I, I was, I, I like, yeah, kind of took the puss trick, I guess. No, bro. <laughs> the thing is, that's the way that I'd want to do a switch frontside flip over. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, no look chance. at this though. Beautiful. Bro. Yeah. The Come flick does, the flick on. foot doesn't even, the flick foot is weak because that's the side that I just had surgery on. So my ankle doesn't fully oh, bend really. Okay. It doesn't really like, ugh. Yeah, but still. Dude, I just, no, I don't. It flips slow. It doesn't go to my feet quick. I tick tack. It's, but yeah. I love it. Bro. I love, I, 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 he, I Wade love hates it. it. Chris loves it. Did you just, it. like, you know, this is serious. This, is this feels rad. like I'm just, like, I just came on here to talk shit on myself. <laughs> <laughs> go, go through all my footage and fucking. We've had a couple other people talk, you know, like, ah, I didn't like that. Thing. But you, yeah. come, you are coming through like not okay, like Okay, how about this? How about this? We've already <laughs> talked about this. We know it. It's the line with the Jason uh, Another kid illegal pants. line. <laughs> with the Jason <laughs> Kid pants, bro. That's Look an illegal that. line too. Fuck. Oh, oh you, I, I know why. Okay, let's. Put, yes, you know why. I know why. Hold on. Let's see if Jerron, uh, go ahead. Right here in the beginning. Right here. Oh, we that didn't, didn't like this right here. No, no just the well, whole that's, line. That's that too, but just that. If you don't know already, you missed it. What the double push? No, you did one switch Mongo and one switch regular push. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. gotcha. I didn't even think. I didn't even realize that till now until you said like what you're looking at. I'm like, oh, I get okay, it. Okay, there's that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you did switch Mongo and then and like I almost bailed on a yeah. Okay. And I tic tac on this, my body, my shoulders open up. But it's not. It's not that. I, it's not good. Dude, I, I love that you're so critical. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, I it's. Love it, it, but, it, but it. But here's the thing, though, Wade. It, it goes to show we are our worst critic totally. in ourselves. Kelly knows because this line was the first try. I landed the switch, shoved nose grind, and then we got kicked out. That was the same day I Delmo filmed that line down the stairs. Well, um, I, I, this is, I remember this day because I was literally hung over and I was like, oh, I'm going to stay home this day. Like I was just super sore because I had skated and then I went out all the night before. So I met with you later, but then I just saw this line. I was like, wow. I was like, I forgot about those pants. Yeah, we got kicked out right after this. Mm -hmm. I think that might have been second try legit and then i wanted to redo it and the cop showed up because that's in sabadell dude it's like an sabadell. hour outside it's of the far city. dude that right. spot is super sick though man there's like sabadell's 
they've got some great spots out there. Mm-hmm. Right. Like in that, that, that whole area. Yeah, yeah that amazing. nook. That plaza, it's got like the four, four up, four down right to the right of it. Mm-hmm. It's got the bank to the other side, on the other side of the street. Dude. Whoa, that thing just broke. That thing just about to go on fire. Yo, whoa, dude. <laughs> Bringing the house down, dogs. Wow. Shit. Everything good over there? Yeah. The thing just snapped all loud and then it started to smoke all gnarly. Raj, yeah, don't worry about it for now. Yeah. It's it smoke, it started smoking. Oh yeah, shit. It's literally smoke. a layer of smoke. Yeah. Fire alarm might go off pretty soon, Wade. Don't worry about it. Okay. We're good. Question is that I have is do you still have those Jason Kidd pants? No. Don't. I get that question all the time. I'm sure you do. I'm what, sure you do. What how why how did you get those? I have no, I know where I got them, but I just don't know why I got them. <laughs> I feel like back then though, those kind of clothes, the jackets with the patches and the, the everything, you know, it was more like it, if I want to really think about it, it might've gone hand in hand with like those pinwheel fucking newer hats. Gotcha. If yep. anything, mm, right? Right. Mm, right. And yeah. they were baggy. I didn't see anybody else wearing them. Jason Kidd was a G. I just said, there fuck you me. go. I love it, dude. dude. That that time is such like a pinwheel new era hat time, yeah, man. A hundred percent. You and Gallant ran those hard. Yep. I think sure. everybody did, dude. I tried. I couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> At least on the Canadian side, you know, Grant that Patterson, Grant Patterson, Grant Pat- like right. Jen Marco, like uh, other dudes. You guys probably wouldn't know, but oh yeah, Lap Chuck. All the OGs. Dude, you got... I, I always liked... I loved the Canadian scene because there's so many underground rippers, man, that were just so incredible. And you were... You obviously grew up with all of them, yeah. man, but... Mm, it's too many. I got to say one thing, dude. Um, you know, obviously, you don't... You critique your tricks in, a lot. Dude... I'm so happy that it was in other people's hands because then we wouldn't be able to see none of this footage. It would have been like, you know... Double-edged sword. You know what I'm saying? Double-edged like, sword. Man. Double-edged sword for me. Yeah. But. Well, we enjoy it, Wade. Yeah. We I wish I could like, have cleaned Shane it up, 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 though. That's all. I wish I could have given you the a real finished version. I get you. I totally we all, we get all you, feel bro. like that Definitely. to a certain extent I feel that about a lot of my stuff, dude. Yeah. But at the same time, then if I was to critique it so much to the point where I'm just like, I just, no, I can't use it. I would have no footage. Right. You know what I mean? Or, or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. To the point to display it for people. But, you know what I mean? But isn't, I don't know. My whole thing is like less is less is more. For sure. You and know, I, like and quali- I get, I totally quality over quantity. Sure. I totally sure. I'd rather have a minute of quality over 20 minutes of whatever. I right. feel you on that. I get you. I do. Yeah. You know? I mean, but, the, but those little things that you do, that's not even the trick. It's the way that you do things, something random that makes people love it more. Like it yeah. could be simple as something as simple. There was a lot that, that memory screen thing that came up with Mark Johnson today. Mm-hmm. There was random ass stuff that wasn't even up to Mark Johnson's, like his par right. of what he does, but it was awesome and i'm like so glad to see that footage yeah, for sure because you never see that if it was up to mark right yeah right. but i don't know I, yeah i like seeing the random stuff but everybody has their little like I mean, even andrew reynolds he's like he had to go back and do <laughs> lines several times because he didn't like the way his arm and it was just yeah. his arm in that one line you know what right. i mean and he has full creative control too yeah, exactly. he's, it, with the projects he was like nah I'm, yeah. but he's a beast for that because he's like I'm going to do it the way that I want. Totally. And I'm going to keep going back till I get it done. Right. And that only happened when That's he was crazy. like sober. Totally. When he was, you know, drinking oh, yes. and partying. Yeah, I take it. Let's he go. was taking whatever, yeah. hand drag, baker makers. He was just taking it, you know. Yeah. But when he was sober, that's when he really was like, he could tell in his footage if he was drinking or not drinking at totally. the time. Totally. Yeah. That was wild, actually, to watch. I, mean, I, a, I didn't a, realize that until he said that. Yeah. I mean, he's using his pure, his pure artistry at that point, like to the point like, you know, he, I do not like that. I'm doing that again. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Making it perfected based on yeah. what he likes. Yeah. 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 I it's respect it, dude. I yeah. Mean, that's, no, dude. I'm not saying clean it up where you lose all, all originality, mm-hmm. but like, fuck, dude, that some of that shit you showed is sloppy. <laughs> well, it's also just, it's all about how you feel when you do it, right? <laughs> Kelly, I don't think you've had a sketchy trick oh, ever stop. come out, bro. So you, I don't know where you're coming from. All your shit's <laughs> bolts, bro, and you know it too. But no, see, we man. look at you the same way. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
you, the way that you look, saying that about Kelly, we look at that you in the same way. Like you, we, I'm saying you've Definitely. never had a sketchy fucking trick. But I will say three your, in yeah. that. There's three right there. Let's play it again. <laughs> Let's play it again. The yep. switch seven nose ground was buttery. Yep. Though. There's That's one. Cool. There's one. Okay. Two. Or I guess if I stay down one, there's yeah. two right two. here. Yeah. There's three. Okay. And right. then okay, you're right. They're all four. sketchy, dude. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? <laughs> you imagine? Could you I, imagine? Can't, I can't change the past. I mean, that's dude. cool. I, I appreciate it. But you know what, though? This is this, this is we're fans, and if we could get way disarmo footage, we're stoked. Yeah. See, know. that's crazy that no one understands that either, because I was fans of yours way before you guys knew who the hell I was. Which hey, is great. Tables right. have turned, bro. Yeah. <laughs> tables have turned. <laughs> okay. 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 Not really. I'm still a fan. Actually, there's so. wait. There's one trick that I always I thought it was sketchy that I did, and you the the nollie heel flip nose slide down the rail. Mm. That was the only. I could see it. Yeah, that I was the only one it. I did that took me so freaking long though that I was just like, dude, I can't try this anymore. Mm. I'm done. Mm. Yeah, but I remember that, and that's I blame you for that because you would seriously nollie heel into it every try, and you just. I put, dude, I, that was the, I'm that really was the way good. we did back then, though. You know, like yeah. Once you actually try to put it down after maybe 40 minutes, yeah. you were like, you and me too, though. Like, if I try to put it down after 40 minutes, then I'm going for it. Yeah. Even though I was in it for, I could have landed in five minutes. You know? I had the, I, I grew up with the same problem too. Mm -hmm. Trying to, uh, gaps especially. Mm -hmm. Kick Jump, out, kick jumping. out. Oh, all jumping. Bad, right? Boom, feet, feet, feet. I mean, I, I could have landed it perfectly yeah, 200 but times, like but I, I keep kicking it out, kicking it out. That's the life of me. For now sure. I'm never going to land it. Cause I'm so used to kicking it out. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that's my trick. Memory now. at that point. Yeah. Memory. My trick is yeah. to kick it out. <laughs> yeah. You're not even waiting to catch it or feel that. You're just waiting to feel that <laughs> point to kick it out. Yeah. You're like, I caught it. All right, cool. Kick it out. It's like, <laughs> I get so mad thinking yeah, about that stuff. Seriously. <laughs> Listen, Wade, we're going to wrap this up soon. We could talk to you for 18 hours straight. And I, I want to, you know, I want you to <laughs> 18 hours, 18 hours straight <laughs> for real. No bathroom breaks. But I, I don't, I want you to come back again and again. Hopefully when you're in the States next time, you can come back and sit in the chair, stop and chats. There Great is room. one thing that I want to talk about because I am such a fan of this not necessarily this clip, but it will lead into the conversation. <laughs> you lost to um, Ashad Ware arm wrestling, which is surprising. He's, I, my he's money would have been left-handed, bro. I know what that's luck. But is he left-handed? He's left-handed. Oh, see, yeah. I would have put all. I don't care. I would have yeah. put all my money <laughs> yeah. on the You gotta lost. play the whole. You gotta. You gotta play the whole video, man. I go up and I'm like. What's up? Like it's the right. I would have I would have lost the farm. Oh man, you played Switch. You played Switch. Here's the thing though. I am such a big fan of the dime challenge and stuff like that. And yeah. I just want Dude, we don't have anything like that here and I every year that I see the dime challenge going on, like I wish I was there. Yeah. Why I don't you care. Come? They would have loved to have you. One day, I hope to. I mean, even just the ice thing that they did the other for this one because they couldn't have the whole thing. Like, was so good. Yeah. It's and, genius. Dude, They're shout geniuses. out yeah. to all those guys who, who run that and produce it and think of the things and everybody that's involved in that. God bless you because it, it that is what skateboarding for me is is it's that's all about fun. One thousand percent. That's why they're successful though. Bro. It's like they they never change their ways for nobody and they just keep doing what they want to do, mm -hmm. no matter what. So I love people. It. People vibe with that man. That's yeah. that's why people back it. So I know that you being there and being a part of it. You know, you come out of a Ferrari, jump into a helicopter, all this fun stuff. You know, like <laughs> it, wild. That is so I. Fuck, what, I what? love I love Dime. I love all those yeah. dudes. That is a fear factory, bro. To play those games of skate. <laughs> like I'm never sober. But <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I retired. So win or lose, the nerves, everything else. It's just fun to be a part of that, man. <laughs> it's like Wait, you're undefeated at that. Dude, that that whole thing is the best part of it for me is after that game's done and i always said that win lose or draw the happiest part of it for me is as soon as that's done <laughs> because that is so nerve-wracking dude 
That's the most nerve wracking I've ever been in my life. Every time, no I matter imagine. which wow. one. And then after that, like you said, win, lose, or draw, you can just enjoy the rest of it's the over. day. Dude, yeah. He's talking about being like nervous in a demo at Stalin Square with the whole primitive team. Imagine just everyone watching it. Just you. Oh my God, I, I would person. hate that. It's just the first, dude, it's the first kickflip or like first right. trick, right? As soon as that, it's like, okay, then it starts to get a little easier, but everything is, and they make it that way too, those yeah. Fuckers, man. <laughs> Blow it up like with their skits and everything, fire, whatever they got going on. Dude. And it's so extra, but it's so dime. That's what so made the extraness makes it. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. But I remember talking to one of my friends about it and he was like, Man, I wish I could do it. Like that'd be so fun. I was like, Where are you sitting? I'm like, go sit with these dudes because they're gonna be by me. And I remember it was when I was playing Tiago and I came out and I looked at him and I was like, would you want to go do a kickflip right now? And he's like, fuck no. Yeah. And I was like, exactly, bro. Like, mm -hmm. exactly. Right, right. But, I mean, it's fun. God bless those guys. Dude, it was, yeah. It's awesome. I'm such a big fan of yeah. what they do. And I'm, I'm bummed that it couldn't happen this year. I'm stoked that they did the Dime on Ice. <laughs> yeah. Such a, they filmed it with amazing. an iPhone. No product, like we were saying. It, it, it was genius. Wait, what? How it's did so good. How did it originally start with you doing a game of skate? Uh, it started with Eric Riedel, which is a Montreal legend. If you've ever seen like the original Dime videos, he's he had a part in I think the first two. Mm, okay, and the dude, he's incredible, like unbelievable. The shit that he would do at Peace, and he's just a legend, Montreal legend for sure. So oh. he started skating again, like he had a little hiatus, and he's just natural talent. And they wanted me to play him at the first one, which I gladly obliged. And what they like it was what the first one was somewhat mellower, or is it pretty nuts right off the bat? I can't remember how it like, was nuts, but it was different. It was on the second story of a loft, dude. It felt like a skateboard fight club. Like we <laughs> went up in like those big gates of like the elevator door, the big loft doors, you know, mm -hmm. like wooden doors, just dusty fucking warehouse, like a room big they had the obstacle course and they still had like crazy events but not like the money i guess to create right. certain things right and but I'm, it was amazing. it was just as great i'm stoked that the you know other companies got involved and you know helped For out sure. with all that stuff yeah. because that that to me, that's an event that like has to continue. Yeah, people are I, wanting to go out there for that, dude. They're wanting I, to man. go out to Montreal. Dude, I don't want to participate in any way. I just want to go out there and watch <laughs> yeah. this stuff yeah. and be involved in this. So when I'm an old man, I could say to my kids and my grandkids, I went to that dime contest in 2023. You know what I mean? Like for real, Dude. like that's the type of shit that I'm talking about. Yeah, the thing man. is, is they're running out of space, man. Like mm. they, they're going to be in like arena soon. Like they're going to have to, because man, the last one that we were at was at, um, am I, I, they did it has, at like the Olympic or spin. Wasn't the Olympic. Yeah. Thing? But it's at a skate park. It's at an indoor skate park. And I apologize. Is it? I don't know if it's Taz or if it's Spin, but dude, it's huge. Two complete full side parks right. next to each other. They have an outdoor park. The and they they ended up having screens outside, so the people that couldn't get in could watch it outdoors. Amazing! Mm. That's a full fledged event. Yeah, but the, but that's what I mean, like. And I've been talking to Antoine lately, and I'm, I don't know exactly what they have in the works, but expect some things from oh, them in like this year and next year. I'm expecting. Like they, they have a bunch of shit ready. So. I am definitely expecting. I Yeah, Antoine, whoever else is involved <laughs> in that, dude, God dude, bless Antoine you. Antoine rips, dude. Keep it going, man. Antoine's one of the illest, dude. Dude, Antoine's so, so good, so dope, so he's... The shit. One one of these days, when everything's back to normal, I'm I am going there. up there, dude. One last shout out, dude. Alexis, oh yeah, dude, La dude. He he posted on his Instagram the first original oh yeah where it came from. Did you see that? I was laughing so hard that you took a joke from when you were a little kid, <laughs> like a little kid, and just turned it into this amazing thing that makes everyone laugh, dude. I was like, that is that made me so happy, man. They are who they are. They they it's not a game. That's their jokes. Their everything is their crew. Little, 
I don't know, their little initiations, their little inside jokes in the crew. Like that's just what all these videos and t-shirts and events turn up to be. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like Omar's like, woo, you know, when he, woo, woo, when he's like skate, it's like natural. Yeah, exactly. And the people like gravitate towards that because they see it's original. It's real. It's not, it's not a gimmick. It's not fake. It's real shit. They would always say like a beast. And I heard the story behind that. (laughs) I fucking laugh so fucking hard, dude. I, I don't even know if I should say it on this show because it's probably like their inside joke. We'll save it for next yeah. time. Don't blow out, oh, don't blow you, out their you, spot, bro. You go to Montreal and you will come back with a whole new vocabulary. <laughs> Especially if you're if you're hanging out with the Dime Boys. Yeah. Dude, you're you're going to have some, some interesting... One of these days, want dude, to, man, we're all going to go up there man, and, and experience yeah. this thing. Because that's, um, that's one of my things on my bucket list. I got it. I got to go. Let's go. Let's go. Stop in Toronto and come see your boy. I'm gonna send, send that helicopter for me, bro. I am there. That's that's on Dime's budget, so... I, think I don't know where they parked it. <laughs> Listen, they got to... Maybe they can sacrifice a ramp or two for the helicopter, but... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, Wade, dude, you are the man, dude. Thank you so much for stopping and chatting, man. We always have a great time. I'm already looking forward to the next time that you're back with us. Yeah. Yeah, He used to crash here before we started the show. He was here all the time, man. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to come doing some slappies with us, too, Wade. Mm hmm. (laughs) <laughs> I'll, I'll dabble okay. i'll dabble okay yeah. i'll also, dabble yeah you guys also, have wider trucks or what chris i know I, I, I got an a25 board right now i'm riding a what tour. size your trucks um they're the what trucks you got they bear you know they they're i don't know what size they are are I mean, these are they the what um, kind of 140 trucks are they? 140 what kind of trucks are they they're thunders 148 but i know i ride for indy what what <laughs> 151? He, he had to fix that. I can't remember what the fuck it is. 149, 145, something like that. But it's a so eight, eight one. Boys. Yeah, 825, but they, you know, they don't stick out. They're just they're just perfect. 151s? Is that it? Kelly, I, I don't know, know if you're talking about Crux or any 147s? I ride Maybe 147s. No, I ride the one I ride the 147s and they're for an eight eight or seven nine to eight one. So, so I 148s might, are eight one to eight. I must five. ride the ones b- above that. You ride the 149. The 148s. 148s. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're they're, off. We're insane. But All they're <laughs> yeah. This is for thunder. Jerron, I'm I'm what? always curious. They're one forty eight thunder. No, indies. Eights. They're right. indies. Yeah. What was that? Uh, <laughs> I I'm always curious. I I've never got to step on your complete or setup. Mm-hmm. Um, this is me nerding out. I was just curious what you always skated. Right What's now, what's your like per- go to shape setup? My go to shape right now. We have a G fifty two. It's about eight and a quarter, I believe. Um, and, uh, ride Royal trucks that fit that. I think they're what, um, eight point. Yeah. I don't even know the, the size of the trucks. Dude. That's what bugs me out. Wade yeah. is every s- truck company is a different. different yeah. yeah. They're different gauge. for sure. And I hate that. Yeah. It throws me off a bit. And then I'm 51 wheels. That's so, fine. And they're loose. My trucks I mean. are like, well, they're loose, loose tight. What's your board Medium. setup? Usually I ride eight eight ones. Okay. I've been on eight one since I was on prim- since I got on primitive. And nice. when I was on DGK, I was at eight zero six. Um Okay. The I, I get the truck issue for me. Mm-hmm. Or the, what you're saying, because I like the size of an eight two five, but the one forty eights are a little higher than the one forty sevens, and I need my board to be kind of low. But what size wheel? 51s. Yeah. So you can't really bump the 51s down to like a 49 or 50. But I've been skating an 825 the last uh, week and a half, and I think I'm making the switch. Ashad got me mm-hmm. motivated to do it because last time I saw Ashad was at Nike Park, mm. and I asked him what size. I was like, yo, you skate the 148s? Because I wanted to see if he noticed the difference. And he was like, no, nah, I ride 147s, which is – the smaller ones, the ones hmm. that I ride. And I was like, what size board do you ride? 825? He was like, nah, 838. And I was like, whoa. Damn. So how do you deal with, he said he puts extra washers, washers in them. Washers, that yeah. makes sense. He does. Yeah. He's uh, so but you rad. still got the space like hanging out, right? Yeah. I think he puts so, three wa- three washers on each, in, in, on each side. That's yeah. right. I mean, I, dude, I don't, whatever he's doing, I should, we should all just, Man, <laughs> That dude is crazy yeah. level, bro. So you're, he, he's actually the one that got me into the, the twin tail boards. 
So that's what I, I say. I, I write a symmetrical board now just because of Ashad sort of talking about it. And I thought that was interesting. So let me try okay. that. You should have been doing symmetrical boards dumb long ago because the way you were skating your board doing 360 flips on your, t on your tail right. like me. This Dude, is like, yeah. this is supposed to happen. <laughs> supposed Chris. to happen. Should have happened t t 15 years ago. But quick question. Then, if you're adding a twin tip, mm -hmm. do you still, like, does it matter what size you what side you use? You actually don't care? Nope. I don't care. Yeah, that's the now, craziest part to me. Mind sure. you... Yeah that okay. I'm really skating the curbs heavy. So I'm not flipping my board too much. I'm not really skating ledges. I'm really doing that. So having to pick up my board and just go and throw it down, it's been such a, like a dream, you know, to not worry about the, What's listen, it? just worrying about the nose and tail is such a small, minute thing, right? Yeah. But yeah, it's but just you're one. Gr you're grinding the yeah. curves though. Yeah, what right. else? The groove in the trucks though. That, you don't, that's what I'm saying. The yeah. grooves in the trucks are exactly the same front and back. He's, not he's until you. Going. Exactly yeah, you have to same. get them to the until point. You get them there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I set up a Christmas complete. So that my oh, okay. trucks would break in at the same time. And I, I try to s set them at the same exact, you know, um, you know, I, I ride kind of loose trucks. So I set them exactly the same. I just try to break them in as a Christmas complete. And your your grip tape is, bl is blank at the moment? Uh, usually I'll try to do like a, I've done like, you know, shake junt on both sides, mm. like some, some type of symmetrical graphic. So you can't tell. Yeah. Shout out to the junt. Dude. What up? For mm. real. But um, yeah, what? you had some, you have some grip tape out on them, right? I did, yeah. And you got Shane real Miles. quick too. You yeah, got a couple yeah. things coming up because I know I, for S, he has some colorways coming up oh. later this year. There you go. Got those coming, and <laughs> so go support weight on that. Also, don't you have thunders coming out too? I'm still working on it. Oh, okay. okay. Um, when we get a design going, yes, dude, this has been in the works for years. Amazing. I can't okay. think of a design. Well, dude, when they when they come out. I'll ride them because I skate indies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Bro. Come back to it's that. Perfect. <clears throat> so your eight point one, you're switching to an eight eight point two five. You I, I might have both. It's weird because hmm. because today when I was skating the eight one, it really made sense. I was like, wow, like you can really manipulate this board different than mm -hmm. an eight two five. That's why I skated seven seven fives for the longest time because I can I, I it was it's manageable. The A two fives are just too heavy. I couldn't pick them up. It was just such an effort to flip those things. The reaction time's different, yes. right? Yes, that's what I I noticed a big difference today. Just even doing kickflips, mm. I was like, "Wow, this is." But it feels so. The A two five feels so solid when right. I land on it. Right. No matter what, you know, it just you can't land on it kind of wrong. Is that funny that that little couple millimeters makes a huge? It's 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 just like the wheels, like fifty one to fifty, huge, yeah, yeah. It's huge, it's wild, time. yeah. But that's monumental. Yeah, like fifty one to fifty two is game changing. Oh, dude, you know? absolutely. So That'll you, wreck your day for a week, <laughs> for sure, <laughs> for, for a month. <laughs> like, yeah. So fifty ones and then um, r loose tight trucks. What are we working with, Kelly? I'd say middle to middle to loose. I would say a lot of a lot yeah. of people that step on my board. They're like, "Wow, I didn't know your trucks would be this loose." Yeah, but, yeah, but that's, I, I don't know what that means. But you know what, Wade? Though, like everybody's a different weight, though. You know, like right. if I stepped on your board, it may be tight because I I, I weigh you know hundred pounds soaking wet. You know what I mean? So it's all subjective when somebody else jumps on your board. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I get it. Guy 300 pounds jumps on your board. He's like, man, your trucks are loose. Hell. <laughs> I mean, we're all roughly the same weight, though. Yeah, maybe. No, you're. I'm. I'm 145. Jesus. I've been 145 for. How are you 20... 145? What? Bro? You're 145? Kelly, I talk, I'm. I've been 145 been like, like for this. 20 years. Bro. I've just never thought about it. That's like, like this. Shit. Damn. Dude, I thought I was skinny last summer, and I was 155. I'm 160 now. The problem is, Wade, I would love to be 155 or even 160. I just can't. You're one of those, yeah. Oh, I have, yeah. A, I have a friend like you. That's the thing. is like Keith, though. He, yeah. He, yeah, he, he eats and eats and he can't gain weight. I can yeah. eat and eat and eat. I can take down pints of ice cream at night. I can do this. I can sit on my couch for five, five weeks straight just eating that and eating and eating. so nice, though. Kelly knows. Like I, I was a jolly old <laughs> guy for a bit this, like, this guy would eat uh freaking chipotle burritos every morning before he goes skate dude wow 
just heavy on burrito. I'm Get like, him. yo, how do you do Dude, that? We have no good Mexican in Canada, so when I'm down Damn. there, I was getting it in. <laughs> Malto is like that too. Malto does the burritos in the morning, or maybe he did, does it now. I don't know. No, he it does was, actually. He does. He, yeah. But the other day, he got a burrito. He got burrito. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> burritos in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, he did. Because Malto and I on tours, we'd be the guy. You know, we'd hang out together and share rooms and what. And he's always a good going Chipotle and Starbucks in the morning. I'm like. But you know what it is, though? He doesn't eat the whole thing. He eats like half of the whatever, burrito. Whatever it is. He saves it. Yeah. It's oh, like, yo, no. okay. That's even yeah. worse. You save a Chipotle burrito, bro? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not. Please, dude. Yeah, but that's how I gained weight, bro. Like, Kelly will tell you. I dummied burritos with the chips and the side and yeah. the soda and... Maybe, yeah, I maybe, think it's well, a, you know, maybe, people say like, oh, you know, be thankful. <laughs> but it's sometimes like I really feel... Like I'm skinny, you know, like right. so there's some days where I feel like I'm I'm skinny, right? There's other days where I just feel normal. Bro, you got the chin up bar? You're saying? God, Dude, I've done this, like four. The whole funny thing to me is that there's this to Tostitos cheese thing wide open right there. didn't put the lid on it? Shit. He just ate it. He was just eating it. He just left I could it take there. The, I could take down a <laughs> whole jar. A little bit. I could take down a whole jar of that chilling. That's what I'm saying, Wade. I, I'm... <laughs> Right before the show, he's just I cannot cheese in the mouth. Like gain, okay. <laughs> I cannot gain a oh, pound. Man. You guys are making me jealous. I know where that crib is, and I know all the good food in the Mexican oh. spa right by. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come down and get some to 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 Tostitos cheese dip. We yeah. got them, man. We got them. And then pay $3,000 for a hotel on the way home. <laughs> oh Tostitos cheese dip's right. amazing. It's probably worth it. He's like, yeah. it might be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, yeah, it's been over a year now, so I'm contemplating it for sure. Wait, how was LA, dude? Straight up, bro. Well, I had Tostitos cheese dip, and that's huh? pretty much all I went down there for. It was amazing. Three thousand. Hey, we get to million. hang out, go skate Santa Monica. It's going to happen. Yeah. All this is going to blow over. We're going to get back to normal pretty soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And, dude, we're going to come. We're going to get you back in the seat here in person. Another stop and chat. Yeah. We're going to kick it. It'll be amazing. And skate be awesome, and man. Out. Feels yeah. like I haven't seen you guys in forever. I know. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much dude, for having me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah thank you, Wade. The time, thanks dude. For Hope out, I don't bro. sound fucking nuts when this airs. I love it, everybody. though. This is I the most intricate it. skate talk I think yeah, we've ever can. had on this show. Yeah. Yeah. This is amazing. I Actually, Reynolds. Yes. Reynolds was really intricate skate talk. Yes. And I love it. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't really think about people that are mm. really skate rats. You know, like oh. the boss, you don't think maybe in my mind, I don't think of him as this like, you know, really skate rat. Dude. He is he a is. skate in rat. He's in it. Yeah. I love it. Super detailed, super, super interesting. Rat, sure. Yeah. So Wade, you and uh, Andrew Reynolds. That's Have you ever had a pretty, combo with him? Yeah. <laughs> I had a dude. I had the funniest combo with him at Jaquan. Like, I don't know Andrew like that, like at all. And I don't even know if he knew who I was. Oh, he but like, knows. We did. It's weird, though, because we didn't introduce ourselves. He knows. That's how he knows we were, who you are. But we were talking like we knew. It was weird. And I forget what the conversation was about. But we were at Jaquan and something was happening. We were just like, dude, that's weird. Like, blah, blah, blah. And had like a little five-minute chat. And then it was like. I'm going to Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, cool. That's the thing about Reynolds. He knows everybody. Like he is, yeah, he is in so in tune really with what's is. going on. It's crazy. Yeah. He was probably like, just have a conversation sense, with Wade DeSarbo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's the type of dude, right? When I met um, Rodney, that was like, no. he shook his hand and he, and he took the words out of my mouth. You know, I was just going to be like, yo, thank you. Like for everything. But and he was like, big fan, man. Thank you for, and I was like, Nah, <laughs> yeah. uh, let's knit this. This Dude, is not how this goes. That's the most trippiest thing I feel like is when people like that know your name. That's wild. Like bro. the first time I met Tom Penny, he was like, hey, what's up, Chris? My name's Tom. I was like, how does Tom Penny know my name? Yeah. Unbelievable, bro. bro. It makes sense, though. You know what I mean? Like, these people don't get to that point. And especially, like, Reynolds doesn't view himself that way mm. and want his footage to be judged if he didn't understand the way people break it down. If he wasn't 
like watching clips in slow mo as a kid, like we all were. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like I've watched video parts, my favorite pros video parts in slow mo before. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit it. I've totally. done it more than once. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Perfectly fine with it. It's just a trip, you know? That's like, whoa, dude. Never in a million years. Yeah. What I thought is this guy. I thought I'd have to explain to him who I am. I skate for chocolate. Explain to you. I, I, skate, for, I, I skate for chocolate. Dude. Yeah. Hi, Tom Penny. My name's Chris. I skate for chocolate. Right. I ride for Autobahn Wheels. Skate for Independent. Um, audio I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan, bro. I just wanted to tell you who I am. And, you know, so hopefully. no, but seriously, Wade, thank you so much, bro. You are yes, the man, dude. dude. Keep it, keep dude, it this, up, man. Keep it up, dude. This sucks. I don't want to say goodbye. You guys are the fucking best. I told you, 18 hours. Straight we can up. easily we can do, you want to do it. 18 hours? We will just one of these days, We're man. Two in, but listen, right? we don't want to take. We'll, we'll we'll have you back again and again and again. Nice. I got. I recorded a hockey game that I'm going to dive into. That's there's your perfect <laughs> outro. So Canadian, ain't it? There you go. <laughs> Only going to yeah. end it with a. Is a Canadian, eh? Uh, <laughs> you need a you need a sentence. Um, uh, well, what hockey team did you record? What what's the game? Oh, it's bad. My team's fucking worse than the league the past two years. But I got a rep. Um, Ottawa versus. Toronto. So I don't know much about hockey, but you could have you could have told me that Ontario's the best team ever, and I would have been like, that's amazing. Ontario's yeah. the state, right? The province. What's so that? it's like there's only two cities in the state, and I live in Toronto, but I'm from Ottawa. Oh. So I want Ottawa to win. Mm. So all my friends that live here are Toronto fans. Mm. So it's it's the, the senators. The senators versus the who? The Maple Leafs. The Maple Leafs. The Maple Leafs. Leafs. Yeah. Right. Ma the Maple Leafs, eh? Yeah. yeah, there you go. Way to Sarmo, everybody, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.